picture in picture will have to wait. Let's see if we have the picture in picture capability because we're about to start the round. If not, we can do it in between rounds. Large, I'll go to you if we go picture in picture. All right, we're picture in picture. Large with Pac Man. Hey, listen, I got to get to Pac Man early because he's focused. Pac Man, you've, got, you've competed on the highest levels. How do you feel tonight? What's the plan? I feel really good. It's a great atmosphere. Um, it's over. Barstool is my fucking platform, man. I'm going to show that tonight. Oh, no. Barstool is your fucking platform, and we're about to get a knockout right here. Thank you so much, uh, Pac-Man. Good luck tonight. Meanwhile, Good this show. guy is getting his lunch. He says, feed me more lunch. Give me the fluffer <laughs> nutter. Give me the marshmallow, <laughs> peanut butter, and jelly sandwich. But he's just eating it. And he takes another one. Give me more, he says. OK, here you go. Here's a left and a right. Give me more. Give me more. Feed me. Feed me. All right, there's a right. Feed me. Feed me. Give me another one. All right, oh, how's that? Oh, left. There you go. How's that? Give me another sandwich. I want some cookies. This guy was just asking for more, more, more until he can't see anymore. At some point, you got to cut it off. You got to say no more. No you gotta pass. Throw a punch in. That's the end. Oh. And there's a cartwheel. And then uh, Generation X. Yeah. And we are underway at Rough and Rowdy. Rule one, don't ask for more when you can't take any more. He was holding his side. I think he got him with a crutch, and he just, he literally just stopped boxing. And then Will Ingram, who won. Give me more. Give, Give me, me more. Here's Feed one me. more. I believe this guy's name is Kid Trunks. We got it wrong initially. We called him Kid's Trucks. It, it was a whole dilemma. But remember that name because you're going to hear it again in the future. Of yeah, no, this guy, by the way, there's a, chance, there's a chance the guy in the stool thinks this fight isn't over, by the way. Oh, he definitely he just, oh, so is this round three? He does, I'm not sure he knows. He absolutely <laughs> thought it was still going. He's got Jesus on hold still. We are oh. off and running at, in Providence, rough around 19. I, I don't know. Have you ever seen, Robbie, you watch a lot of fights. Have you ever seen somebody consistently say, come on, bring it on, just get decked? Yeah, it happens from time to time with, with the, your Nate Diaz's, your Diego Sanchez types. But I don't know that. I don't, yeah, I don't know that we're going to compare him to it, Nate Diaz it, quite it, yet. It I'm it trying also, to be respectful. It also wasn't like, feed me more. Oh, that bounced off me. No, <laughs> yeah, it's no, feed me no. more. Oh, that really hurt me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He might have gotten off on the pain. Yeah, what, a, what a start to rough and rowdy. I, the boys, I love it. So I, no place fight, I'd rather be. Our next fight is the... Look at the replay Oh, here. he's still in the ring, by the way. Oh, yeah, no, he's, he's got back in the ring. He got back in the ring. Now he's <laughs> Feed me oh, more, yeah. yeah. He uh, got, God did not answer his he call. He got God. All right, we yeah. got, uh, and we'll get to Robbie after we got Rome with the winner. Tell, I apologize, I did not see that coming. Guys, I'm here with Will Ingram, the winner of that fight. When Dave first saw you, he didn't believe, and he just apologized to you because you've opened up his eyes. What was it like getting a knockout in the first fight here in Providence? It felt great getting a knockout because this guy was talking a lot of crash on his Instagram, talking behind my back, thinking I was going to find out about it. So I wanted to show him that when he came to Providence, what real how and speed was going to be, and I proved it tonight. And so you took care of business, and you kind of made your name in the rough and rowdy space. Did the green hair have anything to do with it? Yes, it did. It, it was inspired by Kid Trunks and Dragon Ball Z. They messed up my name like calling it Kid Trunks, but well, I like the name because I was hanging him like a truck. Yeah, it was like a Mack truck out there. You got the green hair like the Grinch, and this man might have just stole Christmas back to you guys. Love it. Now, this next fight, Robbie, I think you're saying, is this the Frank the Tank? This is the Frank the Tank. Oh, of yes. Brawl. Frank, I spoke to earlier, was not happy about what, the, what went down last night, the event that went down and uh, if we have the video I believe we could show it Frank the Tank risked his life to basically separate these two and make sure they waited till they got in the ring tonight Providence or Weymouth here we got a t-shirt fighter boys you know it's business when you got a t-shirt fighter. I, I will say, I did hear Green Hair say the other guy was talking behind his back on Instagram. I don't think that's considered behind your back. <laughs> uh, I would say so, I'd agree. I love t-shirt fighters. So, oh yeah. So this is last night, pre-fight. Right. Frank the Tank literally risking his life limb. Help! <laughs> did he say that? He was, he was Jeff Van Gundy on, uh, who was it, uh, Alonzo? Yeah, yep. And Frank does blame one fighter over the other. He totally blames the blue corner, the thickuation, oh. over TT. So these two don't like each other. There is a big weight difference, I would say, here. Uh, is it as big as it seems? 291 versus 246. So thicky blue corner has 50 pounds. Let's see if that plays a factor. You're going to think it would, although it is a heavyweight fight. Here we go, bad blood. 
What is that? Who's the disco what, man? What is that disco man? I don't know. He showed up last fight. Did we have that on camera? The disco man? There's a disco man. And I, there's a lot going on here, brother. We have a disco ball. And now they're. This may not go very long, although it's a face wash. Good right. Oh, good left. There are some. The gloves are not going to be a factor. People are getting hurt by these bombs tonight. This is going to be a big lean fight. You're going to see yeah. a lot of leaning on each other. It, it confused Robbie. Is he wearing his own gloves, the red? He, he must might be. be. Yeah. This, this is a fight slash offensive line drill. I didn't know that was legal here. I thought they all had to wear sanctioned gloves. Oh, good left. That hurt him, but he's still up. A lot of leaning, a lot of offensive line work. Oh! And oh! There was bad intentions, but he ducked it, and they're both okay. Now, this is one where you got to figure stamina is going to play a huge factor. They're already both kind of breathing deep, people screaming. There's a disco ball ringside. I don't know what that is all about. I am lost right now. There we go. Let's get the disco ball. There he is. What is that? Who is it's, that? What is it's that? It's an all metal. It's like a, it looks like more like a Dios de la, la Muertes. Like a, a Mexican uh, Day of the Dead. Yeah, look at look at this. Look at this. What is What the he hell is like that? He runs Squid Game. That, listen, that's like the most electric outfit I've what ever seen. What is that? I've been in a lot of fights. I've never seen that. Meanwhile, we're not even paying attention to two little women in the ring. We got a lot going oh, on. We're going right. to get Caleb. All right, real. Caleb, what is this? I see a lot of myself in this guy. <laughs> Do you want to reflect on, on your outfit choice? Uh, yeah, I wanted to be seen, and I want everybody to see us. What is it? It's the MC Mirror Man on IG. You can check me out, MC Mirror Man. But why? You know, I made it, and I love it, and I want to be seen by it. And I want this guy has work. problems, guys. <laughs> it's, honestly, I honestly, like that, though. It's he just unbelievable. Made it. Unbelievable. Somebody should be walking ringside with Patty tomorrow night. All right, round two back in the ring. So Thickuation is from Providence. He's, he fought in the last rough round. He had won. In Providence. In Providence. So, so far, a very even yeah, fight. Mouth guard. Mouth guard. And that, that how gallant is that? A gentlemanly act by Red Gloves made me want to get the extra press. I think so. Very even fight between these two guys who had bad blood at the way in. It is, it is always funny when they have bad blood at the way in and they're like, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to kill you, and then they get in the fight and it's 30 seconds, they're both just done. Yep, yep. And, but uh, it, is, it is not unusual for the fight game, all bad blood, that mutual respect after you fight. Did that stagger him? I think it did. I think Red got hurt, but maybe not by a punch. Maybe I'm wrong. There's some headbutting going on, too. They're, like I said, it's an offensive line drill. They're, I they're, love like, the helmets on. The refs are letting them fight tonight. I love it. Yeah. Oh, good left. He jumps up, big right. Red Gloves hanging in, though, but he's taking some damage right now. He's wobbled. Yeah, he's wobbled, and that, that round goes to Blue Gloves, oh, clearly. Yeah. Get Blue the Gloves crowd going. Hyping his hometown up. Yep. Now, situation, Blue Gloves got to be careful because we've seen it many times. Crowd the hype up can take some gas out. Very loud. We're doing the double ring girls, five pizza. I think that's a shout out to me, maybe. Number three, I would prefer wearing the pizza, to be honest. Are you a pizza guy? I am a pizza guy. He is, he is the pizza guy. The pizza guy. Converse chucks on, playing to me. All right, I think, what, how did you score this right now? It's clearly, it's, one, it's I, it, it's one, I don't know who won the first round. It's one, either 1-1 one, one or 2-0. It's 1-0 oh. it's, it's oh exhaustion. Both exhausted in yeah. the first round, and then the Thickuation won the first one. No, no, the second round second was round, clearly Second round blue. was Thickuation, first round was just yes. double exhaustion. Correct. All right, round three. Very exciting fight so far. I can't tell if he's Terrence Gomez is wobbly or that's just his general nature. Well, and he's always leaning forward. Let's see if they tap gloves. They do not to begin the third. They're kind of just staring now. A little slower pace in this third round. To be expected. Oh. Good straight jab. And that may be it. I can't tell. Red looks like he reacts when he gets hit by just leaning in. Yeah. Closing the gap and trying not to get hit. Leaning and, and basically tying off. Pretty good technique if he's hurt, actually. He is out of gas. Yeah, he's wobbly. And he's just leaning almost, you feel like if Blue Glove steps back, 
and lets him come in, he may fall or step him. Like a flare flop, like a Ric Flair yeah. just face first. But if he steps one back and goes uppercut, it's over. Yeah. Turns into a little bit of a wrestling match. Yeah, a lot of technique has been thrown out in this one. Clearly, uh, Blue Gloves is the aggressor, but they're both gassed. <laughs> and it takes a lot of heart and courage when you can't breathe. He gave him the lights out. He's saying it's over. And that's how it ends. He called stoppage for himself. He gave him the throat slash, but did it just so that he didn't have to keep fighting. No, he was saying, I just TKO'd that guy. The fight's over. And I'm too tired to actually finish it. Yeah. I think they both were. But the throat slash, probably the winner is Blue Gloves. They're both gassed. <laughs> Joey Thicuasian Medeiros. 2-0 in his hometown. His fans are loving it. Pretty good fight. Hell of a start to rough and round. Very tough to read that guy's shirt. The underscore melon underscore bay 26. Yeah, that's not a great handle to put on a shirt. Have better. And there is a show of respect. I didn't expect to see that. You know what? Fighters always always seem to have respect after, which you, I, I love. It's what makes the fight game the fight game. Damani Lord Burns Burns. Lord Burns Burns? Lord Burns Burns. Versus Joaquin the Dragon Jimenez. It's a second degree burn. Well played, Robbie Fox. Whoa! Yeah. Well played. All right, we got uh, Roan with the winner. That's right, guys, I'm here with our winner. You gave a throat slash at the end of that fight. Was that because you were just tired of fighting at that point? My options were open. I knew I won. That's it. You got somebody else in there, man. It was a lot of shit talking before the fight. You guys had respect after. But what was it like in between those moments as you were wailing on him in the ring? I felt good. Talk a big game. You know, back it up. Shit was weak. But I, I need back in here, right? Two in? Two and oh. I got to call out Eric slash Sue Boy Costa. Bobby Lang. You want Bobby? I want Bobby. All right. I hit up Bobby before this. He liked the message. Maybe I'm not big enough. Maybe get a couple more wins up in here. Heavy hands. Even him hitting me in the chest right now hurts. Let's get him a dude wipe. Get him to the doctor, and we'll get back to you guys. Balls right. calling out Bobby Lang. That is balls. Yeah, I don't know if you want to do that. I don't even. Look at this I guess entrance. They are in the same Holy moly, vicious. Wait, is she fighting now? Is this happening already? No. no. This part of the team. Okay, this is, yeah, she's got teammates fighting. Yeah. Got it. So yeah. if you haven't seen the Vicky Dierico flag there, is this is quite the entrance. He's wow. wearing crown. Wow. This team is a real boxing team. She's actually like a very marketable, very good fighter. We saw her fight already. She's this must be part of the camp. Lord Burns. He's got the Undertaker Druids coming in for a funeral here. Wow. Listen, we, it, Providence does it right. If you're gonna fight in front of 7,500 people, you might as well do it right. The crown, yeah, the shouldn't, droids. Shouldn't his, Nick, shouldn't his uh, nickname just be Lord? Shouldn't it be Damani Lord Burns? Don't. Second degree burn. I forgot about that. Second degree burn. Thank you, Robbie. <laughs> he's a personal trainer, a former D3 wrestler, so he's got oh, combat man. sports experience. Do we know but if he's fought before? He has not fought in rough and, and rowdy. And I'm gonna say this right now. Wrestlers are... It's, you'll like, we'll find out really quickly, is he gonna try to just be a wrestler or is he actually gonna throw his hands? Cause you know how wrestlers can be in a boxing ring? Yep. It's like, wait, they don't actually know how to use their hands. We might see him level change and shoot for a takedown. Yeah, right, I don't right. know what's going on. We got live events, Lisa sprinting around. I feel like we got maybe an issue, but who knows? All right, so here's jo Joaquin. Well, Joaquin the Dragon Jimenez. Look at drag these balls across Burns Who's this face. guy bringing him out? He that, looks that like he's got an old yeah. school WWF match. Yeah. Yeah. Big time. He's Bobby. <laughs> Who is this guy bringing out? He's being, he's being told he can't come. They got all suit. Oh. Can you have two different? It looks like the R I IRS he's coming out with the Greenwich I love Street, it. The Greenwich uh, Street Posse, right? Yeah. Joey Ga Joey Abs, P Gas, Gass. Yeah. and nice trunks <laughs> from the Dragon. Yeah. Are they not letting the Dragons crew out there? You gotta let the Dragons, why can't the Dragons crew come out? Doesn't, doesn't, jo doesn't uh, Pete Gas work at like CDW now? I feel like we talked to him. I think we he like delivers uh, Yeah, we've talked to him. Yeah. I think WB Mason. Yeah, that's where, right. Where did his crew, I feel like I'm very upset that stopped. his crew. You gotta let that crew through. All right, we're getting ready for this fight. Both guys look kind of official. 
Yeah, this looks like it's a legit fight. This looks like it could be on a, on a PBC oh, boxing undercard. The, the Dragon Kid, they're both coming out swinging. This is a very evenly, and now it's not so even. Now the it's the King. Covering up. Lord Burns with a big right. But he's still coming back. Another left, another right. It's oh. he's hurt. The Dragon's hurt. And the Dragon goes crawling across the ground. This he's crowd up. is on their feet going nuts. Lord Burns, double degree Burns. I don't think the Dragon was expecting that, but he's all right. Do not count the Dragon out. Oh, oh don't count out. the Dragon out. <laughs> count him out. Good left. He's standing, but he's back. Top of the count him out, Dave. He may be out there. Six, I don't know. He looks like he's a box. He came out. They're in the wrong Damn. corners. Is there a three knockdown rule here? Because it's in danger. Back of the head. Against the low. Good right. Can he make it through the round? He's holding. Well, that's that's a, a knockdown. That's a push. That was a push. Good cover up by the dragon. I'll tell you what. The dragon does not. It doesn't help that his hair. And like the bleach blonde, it looks it pops. Like, it looks Every like time a, he hits it, pops. It looks like a little like baby furry ball just being thrown around the ring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oof. We got large with uh, Ryan Whitney, who will be on the show later. I'm on with e, uh, nine years in the NHL. Easy, uh, easily the best rough and rowdy so far. Give me your thoughts right now. I can't believe it. Honestly, I've watched them all, and this one, being here in person, has blown me away. First three fights, unreal. I, I can't believe the atmosphere. It's buzzing in here. You were never a fighter. How do you think you do against some of this competition, though? Horrible. I would have been knocked out cold. I would have been scared to go in there. I'm not a fighter. I want to see Biz in here. I think he killed someone. I agree 100%. You're going to be on the call in about, two, about eight or nine fights from now. Yep. Stay tuned for that. Back to you guys. Dan, you nailed it watching that replay. Yes. The dragon's hair, you've got to shave it in between the round. Every time to. he gets hit, it pops up. It's its a glowing card if to the scores to the rest. It was like, oh, the dragon just got popped. Oh, the dragon just got popped. <laughs> you can just see how bad he's getting ragged. By the way, we always have fighters like this that you're like, we're going to see more of this guy. Yes. If Lord Burns. Second degree burn, you may have renamed him, Robbie. Yep. We may see more of this guy. He seems like the real, because I don't think the dragon's that bad, to be honest. But he's just getting outclassed, outpunched, outtooled, outhammered, and he wants this to end. Here goes still the throws a punch, still throwing a punch. The dragon, he's caught in the ropes. The dragon doesn't know where he is. But no. he's still fighting to his credit. That's <laughs> another push. I'm, this is the best repping we've had. Yes. I, I don't know if he wants to continue fighting. He does. Dave, if you're, you're not counting the dragon out by now, I got to Hey, he's still throwing punches, you. Robbie. He's still throwing punches. He ain't landing, but at least he's still swinging. Give him credit. He's a he's a time bomb to go down, but he's still in there fighting. He's walking punches. He's oh, big uppercut. Dave. Robbie, I said he's trying. I could watch the dragon get hit with that the hair. Dra <laughs> the dragons must see. That and he's hair. back up. Is he still going? The guts of a burglar the dragon has. And down he goes. Oh that was clean. It's over. It's, over. it's over. Perfect stoppage. And he does. Oh, he did your boy. He did uh, the Masvidal. The Masvidal. And now a foul. Oh. The crowd is going And by the way, he's doing this all while the dragon was still sitting on the ground. I just want to keep watching the dragon's hair get flopped everywhere. If you weren't sitting home, watching this, texting every single one of your friends, maybe your enemies, being like, bro, you gotta watch this shit, it's unbelievable. You're doing a disservice. Can I watch? Can we get a replay of the dragon just getting ragged off? Just his hair just poof, 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 poof. The dragon just got nuts dragged on his face. Great job by second degree burn, legit oh. fighter. Hard to believe that was his first fight, but that's the camp that the Dierico, De that's a real yeah, fighting Yeah, they're really camp. good, really good. That's a real fighting camp. And he was camp. toying with him. Like, I, he should have been doing the pushing, but it, you could tell that he knew what he was doing. Yeah, that was that was a... Uh, Here we go. I want to see this hair. Replay. Oh. There's the hair. <laughs> Bang. Even when he's not getting hit, it has aftershocks. It's like an earthquake and then tremors after. It's like someone had to realize that in the gym being like, we got to dye your hair or shave your head. But if you are the aggressor, it also probably pops when you land. Yeah, true, true, true. But yeah, the, he ran into a buzzsaw. Oh, man. 
he ran into a buzzsaw. And we're already going to this next fight here. We're going quick. We are. Oh, this, this is Greg mismatch. Butler right here. He wants to prove that he could fight in his hometown. This is his first fight. Um, he's actually friends with some MMA reporters I know, Jose Young, shout out. And he's fighting an Army infantry veteran named Mike Hollywood Schaefer. When you see his opponent, it, it's a body mismatch. You're going to be a bit afraid for Greg Butler. It's but you never know. He's got the, you know, animal steel back. Yeah. The hair all over it. You let's, never know. Let's see if we get any post-fight interviews here. I'm watching. We'll have to go. So Caleb is with the dragon, it looks like. Dragon. There was points. I'm with him, too. At points, it felt like you weren't going to win oh, at yeah. some points. Did you feel the same way? What's that? It seemed like there was points in that fight where it felt like you might not win. Did you feel that way? I felt like that when I saw you his corner man without him. Done. Or with him. But you kept fighting. I kept fighting, yeah. What inspires you to keep fighting like that? What's that? What inspires you to keep fighting like that? Uh, that I'm fighting in the same weekend as Manny Pacquiao, but I'm oh, far I, away from him what? right now. It's a I lot like of that. heart. It's a lot of heart. Manny Pacquiao's fighting again? I like Hey. He's fighting the same weekend. Mu must be his hero. I like that. Is Manny Pacquiao fighting? I think so. Oh my God! You guys He's are right. Stop fighting! By the way, this is a body mismatch. Body mismatch, Dave. I did want to talk to second degree burns. Uh, red We're corner here. Looks like there, by the way. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll slow him down. I'll try to slow him down, Pete. Maybe you can. All right, here we go. Body mismatch. Body doesn't always tell the story, but no, it doesn't. It honestly doesn't. No, I mean, look at the best fighter in the in the world. Doesn't have the greatest body. Tyson Fury? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but this may be a body. Tell us the story, Robbie. I'll tell you what. Whoa, a little yeah. fancy too. Look, those guys' legs are like tree trunks. But he winds up, he's not a great boxer, no. even though he just nailed him. Yeah, no. Oh, and he ricochets off the ropes, and now a little rope a and a dootsie doo with the ref. Everyone, find a partner, swing him around a little up and down with the gloves. Very confident in his red gloves. He has an interesting technique, though, because he goes on one foot a lot. Yeah, he's not uh, a natural fighter. This no. might be it. Is the ref going to stop it? He's, he's, it seems like he's a, a workout for the glamour muscles, maybe not a sports player. He's doing interesting flexing like he's in a mirror almost, yeah, like this? looking like showing his guns. I think right now he thinks he looks like Roy Jones Jr. Right? <laughs> yeah. Why is he flexing his right arm? I think oh, he yeah, thinks he's... it's a mirror. And that's the end of the first round. <laughs> what is that? What is that stance? What's the strut? <laughs> strut. That was something. Um, that was a mess. Is what yeah, I don't. I think this is one of those guys that you see him with these muscles, and you're like, wow. And then you throw him a ball, and he can't catch it. Yeah. Well, he's he does a lot. He's definitely a gym guy, and he yes. was doing a lot of a lot of mirror flexes. I'm like a fan of Ring Girl Nine. But he's in total control of the fight. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of Ring Girl 9. The underboob always plays, boys. That's a hard and fast rule in life. Those, that, the underboob may become the full boob, it almost looked like, at times. Hey, you bought Rough and Rowdy. My nephew's watching this show, so I'm going to stay silent. Okay. Oh, he's thank gonna you. Become, he's going to become a boy. What's your nephew's a... name? Luke. All right, Thank Luke. you, Luke. Oh, Luke from Skywalker. Yeah. Luke boy. becomes a man tonight. Uh, yeah. Round two, round one is all red gloves, and he's dancing, he's bobbing, he's going in, he's in the gym. Blue gloves didn't look technically sound. I don't think this goes past this round, fellas. I think it's stopped by the refs, and maybe rightfully so, because this blue glove doesn't have much except turning around and getting wailed on. And now he's on his bike. They are letting him fight in Providence. Oh, <laughs> they kind of look like cats fighting. I like this Mike Hollywood Schaefer. He has the daintiest backup you've ever seen. Oh, he's, he's smiling, tongue out. He's enjoying himself. Walking him down, mouth open, and in he comes. Kind of a shove punch. He's, yeah, he's wagging that tongue. And oh, there's a, a double shot. shove to the gut. I feel like we're playing Elvis. I think we are playing Elvis. Yeah. First time in a rough round of that Elvis. Oh, oh that's oh, a backwards back fist. slap. A uh, back fist. The crowd is booing, getting restless early. Oh, a slip. It's been so wet in this corner. We just haven't gotten it clean. A push, a shove, a slip, a gas. I, I need to see that backhand. Yeah, again. it was a double-handed backwards slip. By the way, this crowd, if they think that's bad, yeah. 
I hope. Who, who do we got coming up? Oh, I, I thought a, a serviceman was going to be doing the ring girl, but he's just holding the ropes. All right, God so, bless America. So, uh, Luke, number ring girl number three. Those are what we call some D cups, my friend. I'm going to walk Luke through it all. Oh, there it God. is. They got to learn you it at some point, bro. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I guess right, so. Listen, Uncle Big Cat's going to show Luke what it means oh, to look at a woman. Better learn it from us than somebody else. That's true. We've been Here, doing this. Here's the replay. I believe it is the backhanded double fist. And oh, there it oh, is. Oh, that was a good shot, too. That, I, I feel like that came. Can we show that one more time? I feel like that came with a little. That was. Oh, man. I feel like it came with a little. Oh. With that double backhand. <laughs> so. What do you got? What are you looking what at? What fight there? are we on? We're well, on this fight four. Four at the bar right now. Yeah. Because we got some guests. We're going to have uh, my partner for BMF. He's here. Josh Richards for Grace. We're going to have uh, Whitney on later. A couple guests. People grab Mike, so it's sticking enough to think. All right, round three here. It's 2 0, red gloves. But Bogo landed a good punch in this round already in the blue gloves. Yeah, you know what? I wasn't sure he'd make it, but I don't know that Red has the power to, or no. technique to take him out. No, he does not. Do you think he punched himself out, maybe? I don't know if he punched himself out, it's but he's just, not great. He's, he's got crazy punch. eyes right it's, now. It's hard to land a lot of power when you're, like, jumping while you punch. Oh, he There's just no, shifted like, hit. And then a backwards. I tell you. Anybody who thinks they're going to get away with not full action with this crowd's out of yeah. their mind. Yeah. This has had action in their booing. Yeah. I've seen a lot worse at Rough and Yeah, Rowdy. this has oh, been yeah. an entertaining Rough and Rowdy fight for Rough and Rowdy right. They're just spoiled because it's been unbelievable so far. Oh, one nice little punch at the end there. Oh, it's... Yeah, gets the crowd. A messy fight, but he got the win. So if we have... He's a veteran. Thank you for your service. Jordan, I can move down a little too. I think there's seats right there. Oh, okay, perfect. So this will be red. All right, so Josh Richard just joined us. Your first Rough and Rowdy thoughts. Yep. I mean, so far, it's been pretty great. This this fight, I thought, was kind of the worst. You're a spoiled rough and rowdy guy. Yeah. The first three, like, that, that is an average rough, like, not, the first fights were electric. Uh, yeah, they were great. great. They were awesome fights. And the crowd is... They're adapting, I think, right? Like, they were used to the last two fights, and they had this. Yes, they're booing. Oh, they're booing, which is good. You want an electric crowd. 100%. So what are your thoughts on Grace? By the way, where's Bryce Hall? I thought you guys were like, I thought he was boys with Grace. He didn't make the trip? He didn't make the trip. Why? He's, uh, he's, not, he's not that much of a boy, you know what I mean? Clearly. Yeah, not enough to be here. But uh, I think I think Grace is going to get a second round knockout is what I think. Ooh, yeah. why not first? Uh, I think I think she's going to feel out the competitor a little bit. You know okay. what I mean? Like feel out the fight and then uh, second round. So are you, knockout. are you walking out with her? Oh, yeah. So the green jumpsuit's her idea? Evidently, yeah. Josh, do you think tonight will be the night that you respond to that uh, DM that you sent me and I responded and you never responded back? Uh, probably because you just reminded me of it, yeah. so yeah. Well, Josh DM me like two years ago being like, hey, do you know Blake Griffin? I was like, I responded pretty much right away. I was like, yeah, I'm pretty close to him. Literally no follow-up whatsoever. Just, that's tough. It was just left out there. He's yeah. A big star. <laughs> well, he a... asked me first. Yeah, I had things to do. That's, I guess. What, that's what big stars he just wanted, do. He was just checking to see just if I knew him. You I just wanted to check out if yeah, you, you guys in Hollywood. Yeah, you, know you were I mean? like, all right, done, check. Yeah, big yeah, cat knows yeah. him. <laughs> this guy's ripped to shreds. This oh, guy yeah. might be the most ripped fighter. He, he, his name is Peter Daylu. He goes by Shh. It's Pete, which is whatever anyone having fun says when all Biz walks into the room. Yeah. And he's fighting David Green. Bobby, here's a redemption down. fight for Rough and Rowdy 10 for David Green, but it's a tough, tough opponent. Very and, uh, strange spelling of Wor Worcester for it Pete Taylor. Worcester, yeah. Uh, Josh, you ever going to get in here? Um, you can I say mean, no, I'm never. What? I, I probably won't, but one of the fighters called me like a wiggle dicker or something when I was walking in, and then he got knocked down like three times in one round. So I was like, ah, oh, <laughs> yeah. not great words to back up. Yeah, but that's true. Are you more likely to step into the ring or get into a ring girl? Probably the ring girl, I'd say. I think so. <laughs> if we're putting odds on it, like, yeah. 
Okay. So this is another another body mismatch. Yeah. But you never know. You never do. I, I, I've been wrong already on my original product, like just going by looks. Oh, he's got a Henry Hill uh, tattoo on his calf. Or uh, uh, Hank, Hank Hill. Yeah, Hank Hill. Well, in, in a gas can. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Huh. So yeah, Blue Gloves is going to win, though. We're going by looks. That that It's not always right. The first right fight, I was dead ass wrong. We'll see what we got here. I mean, oh, okay. I like it already, though. He lays off the gas, an interesting technique. He came in and then backed up. And in rough and rowdy, taking your time isn't always a great game plan because these are oh, one step on his foot. He stepped Ooh. on his foot. Good technique right now, though. If you're looking at the shoes, oh, he stepped on his foot again. <laughs> wow, he's trying to get him. <laughs> he's doing the new shoes blues on him. Also, boxing shoes versus not boxing Ch shoes. Yeah, like yep. Chuck Taylor's. Oh, a little left there. Hairline's a problem for uh, Eve White gloves. I think he's got are. the sideburns to make up for it. Are they putting their own gloves today? Or can they choose? There's different gloves today. I don't know. Like, oh, oh they're just, they're, they're having trouble with each other's feet. Yeah, I mean, the guy he is, keeps stepping on the toes. Yeah, I like the move. Oh, these body shots are hurting. The me. body shots are adding up. And he's just not throwing punches. Get, there's the one, but he's getting walked down. I will say, Blue Gloves goes in, throws punches, and then retreats. Yep. Eboog is a great nickname here. That's this guy. Eboog, yeah. E yeah, Eboog. He yeah, uh, may have partied with Rear Admiral. That's one of our notes. We're live on air. Yeah. What, what was, was that? that? What <laughs> just happened? I have no idea. Does that happen often? Sometimes. They'll okay. just come up and have a conversation with us. No, that's interesting. Yeah. That's rough and rowdy. Sometimes it gets rough. Yeah. Hey, it's got to get rough before it gets rowdy. Oh, that's that's another. Fact. Is this person related to the other person who has all the crazy outfit? The, like that's her. I think it's the same girl. She just changed her clothes. Wait, the guy in the no, oh, no, no. The guy oh. is still there. Yeah, but it's the same like reflective. Oh, oh yeah, 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 similar. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I will say, there. So white gloves. David Green. His name is the Electric Boogaloo. There has never been a more ill-fitting yes, yes, yes. <laughs> The Electric Boogaloo. There's nothing Electric Boogaloo about this guy. It almost is so bad, it's perfect. Like, yeah, that's what I was saying. We gotta call him Eboog. Book. He's like, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> oh, the electric boogaloo get, just walked down again. But he hasn't been hurt. It, the blue gloves, what's his name? Blue gloves. Uh, sh it's Pete. It's Pete. 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 Pete Daylou. Pete goes two steps forward, one step back. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't look like he has interest in finishing the fight. No, no, he wants to go three rounds, it looks like. Right, he wants to he wants to win on the scorecard. He is also fighting. Oh, oh. a little back oh. Oh. Jaw, keeping his composure. He looked upset with himself there. Oh. He's he's acting like he's fighting Tyson in his prime. Like he doesn't <laughs> want to get in the range. He looks a little too calm, like you, he took a Xanax or something. You, you gotta be scared of e books power. <laughs> yeah. He's turning <laughs> over. <laughs> the electric bungalow is right. Now he's coming. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. Oh, no. That's no. That's no. Cheap shots. Doesn't look so electric though. Oh, electric <laughs> just got absolutely cheap shot. By the way, you don't get up here. You you just got absolutely four yeah, shots yeah, yeah, illegally. The boogaloo just got wailed on on the ground, and he's up. These refs are letting anything wow, go. Wow, I that, cannot I, believe this fight is continuing. The doctor that was a, got up. The that was a disqualification. Yeah, I, let's see yeah. that. That was as dirty as it gets. He's st the boogaloo is still holding the back of his head. He got smoked. The doctor literally got up to ringside. The ref's telling him uh, you can't hit him eight times when he's on the ground. Uh, what a what, those are as dirty a cheap shots as you'll ever see. Oh, those are as dirty as cheap shots as you'll ever see. I'm talking about the cheap shots. No, guys. it didn't look like it no. was. The yeah, monitor I'm shot. I'm came asking up. for the cheap shots. I'm, I'm saying, oh, those cheap shots are disgusting. Let's see him. Watch this. How many shots illegal? One, two, two three. three. Three shots. Felt like eight in real time, but it, it did. Still. Three. Yep. He going to lose some points for that or what? I don't know. I'm surprised they let the fight continue, to be totally honest. I am too. I don't know who's... I can't tell who large is trying to... Gather, don't look like anybody. All right, uh, round three. Let's go. The Boogaloo is back. Does he have any electricity though? It doesn't look yeah, like it. Looks it. like maybe. He, he looks unplugged to me. He looks unplugged. Yeah. Oh, and he looked like he thought about hitting him again when he's down. 
And he's pissed. He's pissed now. It's Pete. Tom Danger's age. It's Pete. It's Pete. It's yeah. being much, I'm just wondering who yeah. you're judging. It's just it's Pete is being much more aggressive this round. The back of the head. Oh, the he's giving him the warning. The back he's of the head. The warning. I didn't think anything was illegal in that last round. We need Rona Kale to talk to the electric Pogaloo. Pogaloo still coming for the Pogaloo is mad. Pogaloo is mad but getting killed. He's not throwing anything. And the corner's screaming at him, throw punches, back of the head. I'm he's not seeing anything illegal there. No. Rogaloo's no. not throwing anything. He's literally just trying to box oh, him out for a rebound. Right. He's also ducking, so he has no place to get hit at the back of the head. Yeah. He's getting absolutely destroyed right now. Oh, my God. He's picking him apart. Here comes Boogaloo. I gotta tell you though, as sometimes happens, I start gaining respect for Boogaloo. Oh, I love Boogaloo. Just Boogaloo's my guy. Glutton for punishment. Yeah. He just like, look at those welts are gonna be on his side for like three months. Right, yeah. You think he'd respond to your DM? Yes, he would. Yeah. I was like, Boogaloo, what up? He dude? is your boy like I that. like your style. <laughs> Clear winner. Yeah. I think that's a one for one for me on picks though. I'm going hundred percent, so that's great. That that was the correct pick. I yep. think most everybody in the earth based on looks maybe had that. I want to know what how Boogaloo got his nickname. Because he Boogaloo. might be electric. What if he's just electric on the mic? He might be. He what if, he's with just, RA? What, if he's, what if his voice is just electric? Wait, he partied with RA? Yeah, that's what it said on his sheet. Oh, okay. Well that makes sense. Like it, yeah, he's Here electric. There we go. We got Roan with the Boogaloo. That's right, guys. I'm here with the Electric Boogaloo. Uh, fight didn't go your way, but you were electric in the ring. How'd you get your name? Just decided to give it to myself. That's how it is. Dude, you were holding the back of your head after the second round. Were there some dirty shots in there? I got two shots to the back of the head. How do you feel about it? Not the way I wanted to do it, but whatever. Just kept getting back up and getting back in. Do you have gauge gauges usually? Do you usually wear gauges? Uh, I have had them out since I was 18. Okay, but close. The holes are still there. Yeah. And uh, it seemed like you were playing a lot of defense. You were in the shell for a lot of that fight. Do you think if it went a little bit longer, you could have got a win? Uh, I seen some of his fight stuff, and he did seem to get gassed, so I was just kind of hoping he would tire out if he just kept swinging, but three one minutes, is, uh, he's able to do that, so. Bloody but not demoralized, that's the electric boogaloo. All right, next fight up, we've got Nick Hookamania Huckins versus Nelson fucking Sickus Acevedo. Now Nelson fucking Sickus Acevedo, Acevedo is an instant rough around a legend because he got knocked out cold. When he hit the mat, he woke up. Yes. I don't know if he we have that footage. Life. Yes. Yes. This is him it's, coming into the ring. It's wow. the most insane this thing you've ever him. seen. This, this is, is not him. him. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's coming in. This is in. the Hulkamania. Correct. Yes. He yes. was yes. knocked out in air, and the minute his head hit the ground, he woke back up. Here he is. Did this he keep fighting, or did they yes, have to keep fighting? fighting. Oh my like he was fine. I mean, he was out, like eyes back of the head. This guy's a legend. He's the fucking sickest avocado. I hope we have it. Uh, the fucking sickest avocado. Let's go, baby. By the way, we now have, I think, the uh, reflection man has brought his own slingshot. <laughs> I see it over there, actually. What is going on? Yeah, he. What the fuck? He's got his own T-shirt cannon. <laughs> It's a man-made t-shirt, Kenny. He's just firing it off into the crowd. Okay. Unbelievable. Hell yeah. All right, let's get back to the action. I see Large with the fighter. Let's go in between rounds to Large. So we'll wait for this round. Both Unless... of these guys were knocked out at the last Rough and Rowdy. Well, Somebody's always got to go. Well, did, one. did Acevedo get knocked out or he uh, appeared he, to he get did, knocked out? He did, but, you know, they both lost. Oh, oh he almost went for a takedown. Yeah, yeah. Like wrong a little sport. wrestling. I'll tell you, Acevedo can, is throwing punches. He is. Oh. oh. Huckamania had to fight Trapzilla last time. He lost. He put on a great show, and he lost 25 pounds since then, promising to put on a show tonight. It looked like Hulkamania was mad that he got pushed and wasn't ready for Acevedo to come in right there. Pretty even fight so far. Yeah. Oh, oh. Acevedo did it again. He may just have a knack for falling well, down. He, 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 might, he might be on uh, one of those, like, coats that falls asleep and yeah. falls down. Because he looked like a uh, accordion again yes. a little bit. But he's up like it's in an alley. He's up and throwing punches. This guy's this guy's a miracle worker. <laughs> like his body went, he wasn't as out, but right. he does the accordion. 
he has swing an off and miss. switch, and, and you could flip it on and <laughs> yeah. off. It actually saves energy on the way to the ground. Yeah. You know, when they tell a fighter stay down, he goes the second. I yeah. want to see, sorry, Large, we got to see this knockdown again. Yeah. Because it did look like he's sort of, not as big, but sort of accordion. Went up and down for sure. His fights don't start till he gets knocked down. Let's see if... Yeah, yeah he does. Yeah. It, yeah, it's like he loses control. All right, Lars, let's go to you. Let's do picture in picture here. All righty, guys, I'm sitting here with the Jewish Tyson. Oh. Listen, you're fighting in the most electric, rough and rowdy. What are you going to do when you're up next versus the bucket from Pawtucket? I'm going to rip the bucket brawler's head off, and then after that, I'm coming after I eat ass. All righty, then you heard it here. He wants to beat up the bucket, then you want to eat ass? That's what we got, Jewish Tyson coming up. All right, there we go. Frank the Tank was telling me Jewish Tyson, a huge Mets fan, probably not a Kanye fan. No, I, no, I'm not a Kanye guy myself. I'm not either. Seems to be an ass eater fan, though. Ass yeah, he's a good yeah, fighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, round two. Round one, you got to give to uh, the Hulk base on the knockdown. Good shot from both fighters to start yeah. that one. Neither of them looked like they were oh. that buckled his knees. Yep. And Acevedo with another shot. It looks like Acevedo needs to get hit before he can actually fight, you know? Like, it gets him into the fight a little bit more once he gets raw. Body shot, swing at the shirt. Quite the array of music here in the building tonight. Oh, good right. Oh, this is a push, push off. Anybody's fight right now. Fans are gonna get restless soon. Oh yeah. A lot of swings and misses here. Yeah, not a lot of punches landing flush, a lot of shoulder hits, behind the ear hits. And as it progresses, as is the tendency in Rough Rowdy, get a little bit gassed. Yeah, they're getting slower and slower. Does Austin Vado have a have a backwards American flag tattooed on him? He He's, does. Yeah. Is that how it's that that's, that's like when you put on his shirt? It's both ways. Never mind. He's a 12-year Marine. Is he? Yeah. Thank Respect you for that. Your service. Yeah, so when you put on the shirt, yeah, when you put it on the It's the right way. I was looking at his ace of spades and I thought it was his stars. Alright, so so uh, nephew Luke number nine here got the underboob. Oh my god. That's you love underboob. Under I do, I love under who that's, doesn't that, have that's under not underboob, that's boob. I see tip. That, that's pretty <laughs> that's much boob. Yeah. You're you're right Luke, at Luke, the line Luke, of cover, nipple. cover your yeah. eyes, Luke. Luke. No, do not. I'm gonna teach you. I hope he went to bed. Who doesn't love underboob? I hope he went to bed. What is that? That's from uh, Eastbound and Down. Let the boy watch. Yeah. I, said, yeah. I said Gabriel. I thought he, she had nipple. I was wrong. Hand up. I was wrong. It's still covering. But it's getting dangerous. Are you don't like underboob? I'm not, I'm not going nuts on underboob, no. Underboob's classic. More of an underboob or sideboob guy? Oh, side boob, uh, maybe side with a little, little tattoo. Yeah, that's what I'm little saying. Ta little yeah. tiny tattoo. It's nice every once in a while. Yeah, okay. I'll take boobs any way you want to give them. It's like, you know, potatoes three-way. I'll take boobs any way you want to give them. That's uh, a fair take. I like that. I hope Luke has a little pen and notes taking boob notes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and again, Luke is how old? He's uh, eight. eight. Oh, no. Robbie's eight-year-old oh, cousin Luke. Like, oh, God. God. Yeah. oh, good right. Oh, That's oh, stunned him. Like he's hurt. He's, he's hurt. hurt. Okay. Okay. Alcibado may have him with the ropes. He says he wants to he go. He, he doesn't, doesn't know where he is. He, he doesn't know he's blinking. Oh, he doesn't know where he is. Oh! oh a reverse! A reverse! It looked kind of like a push to me. It looked like a push. I still don't think Hulkamania knows where he is. But Acevedo doesn't seem like he wants to finish. Is he baiting him? What's Acevedo do? Acevedo threw all the dirt on him and he didn't finish him. Oh my god. He, he crumpled him in half. He literally fell half over himself. Oh, and look at the sportsmanship. Oh, that's it's great. beautiful. That's you great. gotta love that moment. We gotta see that moment. punch. I think that won Acevedo the fight. Yeah. Have we ever seen anyone just throw the gloves off like that yeah. in the middle of the... Unbelievable wow. turn of events there. 
We've had a, we'd have someone bury someone and someone do the throat slash and no punches thrown out. What was the fight? The U UFC guy is it Nate Diaz who they say stuns people and then doesn't go in and finish it? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was kind of Acevedo. Was yeah. so busy burying exactly. him, he forgot. Exactly. We, that that was an unbelievable. Here's knockout. the replay. I mean, he crumpled him. Yeah, in crumpled. half. Where's the shot? Right Bang, there. Right there. And backwards. ACL, MCL, goodbye. Those and then knees. The, and then he just starts pouring dirt on him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. And Caleb waiting, waiting to get a word with Hulkamania. All right, Caleb. Thank you, Josh. All right, thank Good you, luck guys. to Josh. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, good luck later. Hit me yep. the DMs, bro. I will do. <laughs> <laughs> Good All luck, right, Josh. Caleb. You have good luck, Josh. I'm here with Hulkamania. There was a point where it looked like you got crumpled a little bit. It looked like you took a hard fall. It looked like you lost both your knees. What were you thinking? Get up. I got my daughter up there and all my co-workers. I got fucking heart. Rough and Rowdy bring me back. I got fucking heart. You proved you had heart. What was the difference in the fight? Was it you going down so hard at the beginning, or was it the rest of the fight that made you a little tired? Going down, but I always get up. No quit, zero. If nothing else, it's gonna be a cool dance move, guys. All right, and again, the thing about Rough and Rowdy, and we say it, we have fun with the broadcast, you really, us three are all pussies, we wouldn't fight. Yeah. So even though we have fun with it, the guts that these guys get oh, yeah. going in the ring, you heard Hulk and maybe like, my daughter's here, I had to get up, I was demanding myself to get up. They're fucking, I, we have fun with it, but you can't doubt their courage. Outside of like maybe four or five guys you see tonight, all these other guys are working full-time jobs, families, all this stuff, and they're training as much as they can on the side and then getting in a ring, doing something they've never done. Yep. Absolutely. I cannot stress how big a pussy the three of us sitting at this table no, are. No chance. I haven't had built fight for me uh, against Jose. Sweatpants. So we got uh, Wayne Moody Bagley versus David Fat Sack Fossil. <laughs> fat Sack, fat sack, fat sack we've seen before at the last Rough and Rowdy. Uh, he's one and zero. He fought as one nut Dave. Lost his nut in college baseball from a line drive. Oh wow! But he's still man enough to kick your ass. Fat Sack. They all wore uh, cowboy hats in the ring. This looks like a pretty evenly yeah. matched fight, I'd say, boys. And this is another New York versus oh, New England. Caleb fight. on the on the gun. And here we go. Oh, Haymaker out of the gate. Little shake, little bob. And as usual in Rough and Rowdy, big, mean punches early. Nothing land, but if one of them does, it's night out. Oh, and that hurt him. And that hurt him. And there's oh. a right and a clean knockdown and a lot of shit talk from the one sack. Nutball, oh. fat sack. And, and sweatpants is still hurt. He's saying he's okay, I think. But yes. I, he may be still stunned. He's coming in, we'll see, you never know. Does he have his legs behind him? He looks a little more cautious. Those are oh, that hurt him, up. that hurt him. He's, he's wobbly, he's, a, he's definitely wobbly. And a good right, oh, and a double, double and down. that's Rocky! Next and they both go down. down, and they both get right back up. Southern but I think, I think the guy in the sweatpants is hurt and the other isn't. It's tough to tell. They both hit the ground so fast. Sweatpants coming back a little bit. He low. is, but he's also leaning. I think he's actually out on his feet, but he's still throwing punches. And oh the ref is God, holding him up. Oh. And against the stool, and he's oh still God. dancing around. <laughs> Holy he just, cannoli. He just hit a pinball to get back to his corner. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And I don't know what we're looking on the side Can here. Let's see that. Him Let's get see the back replay. To his corner? Boy, and they're working around. on the legs in the corner. You better be working on the legs. What a round. You know what was interesting? Every shot that the fat sack landed was the exact same punch. Yeah. It was that looping hook. He just landed that over and over and over again. I've never seen anybody bounce off 18 ropes to get back to the corner. It, I think this is it. It was a pinball game. Oh, what a moment. It, it, I'm not opposed to stopping the fight and just yeah. be like red, red. So look at this move in the corner with the towel to Can wave him down. I think he's just getting him some air. Do we have him going back? I, I think you just... As a general rule, you don't want to fight a guy who only has one ball. He probably he carries around a lot of anger. Listen, this, that I don't. And oh, red oh, sweatpants oh, is coming right out running. I don't know if that's the right move. 
It's that same punch every time. It's that looping right hook. And, and I think he hit him again. I, I, I'll tell you, some guys, when he's, oh, but look at this. Look at sweatpants. This would be a great comeback. Little wrestling match. Good job by the refs. You can't wrestle there. But sweatpants is being very game right here. I was going to say, there's fighters, some fighters just, oh, good right. Let's see if that hurt him. He's way more composed. I mean, his legs were gone in round one. Now it looks like one ball may be getting tired. That sack does look tired. It's that right Oh, hook. Well, what was that? I didn't even see it. It's a right hook from hell, Dave. Wow. He's saying he's fine again. Last time he wasn't fine. Looks like he's bleeding from the lips. Let's find out how hurt he actually is. Last time he was real hurt, and he... I think he's hurt again, but he keeps coming forward. He's sliding a little bit. Oh, but he, oh, oh, double. Oh, and he bounced. Is this, is this ring very slippery? This fight is challenging my play-by-play -play game <laughs> like never did, before. Did they fought the last 10 seconds on ice skates. Unbelievable. <laughs> we, can we see the end of that I, round? I don't really even know what to say. Uh, no, no. There is nothing to say. Number four is my ring girl choice. Let's see. I, let's watch I the replay. This, I didn't even end. see him get Look hit. Him slip. Like, I didn't see that punch. It landed. It landed behind the ear. Do you have the last 10 seconds? They were just. This, 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 this is a quite a fight. Yeah, that, that's, that's the winner. Number three? Four. 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 Bobby Orr. Four. Makes sense. Providence Bruins. So Luke, there you go. That's that's the difference between Uncle Big Cat and Uncle Dave. Big Cat, Uncle Dave is uh, a morbid ass man. Always have been. Uncle Big Cat going for the breast. We can teach you both. Round three in what has been a wildly entertaining fight that has been almost impossible to call. It's just right hook after right hook after right. After slip, after slide. I live in America and I've never seen so many rights. It might be the sneakers now that I'm realizing it. Yeah, but they're both falling. Sometimes maybe the, this is just, it's, there's also a lot of wrestling and pushing. Yeah. Yep, yep. yep. By the way, what, nut sack, fat sack is definitely getting tired. Yes, he oh, is. He's tired. He's yes, been he tired. Is. And, and this will be a great comeback for what he's still throwing big punches. That's an illegal punch. Walking him down. Now, I wouldn't walk with your hands down like no. that on his sweatpants. Got to save his energy. No, it's from the hip. They're both just throwing and missing, but now Red is on the attack. What a turn in this fight. I mean, I think Wade Bagley might win this fight. One big punch can turn this whole fight, but no one's landing. What hard show. Oh, him. there he is. Can he finish the deal? He's and one, blood. one great comeback. This will be a great big right. Another oh. one. He's on his last leg. Can he the belt? Oh, saves my him. God. What a fight. That was incredible. This is going to the cards, and I got no. Who do you guys have? I think Wayne Bagley. He just won the last two rounds, I think. Did he win the second round? It's going to come down to the second. I, I mean, the Yeah, I give it to even, Bagley. Either. Oh, they do. Uh, I mean, the, knock, the knockout in the first round was probably too much. The crowd doesn't like it. That was just, I mean, my, my heart says Wayne Bagley. He was knocked out cold. I don't think they should have kept the fight going. In the first round, he came back and he almost won it. Yeah, it, that, that was the first fight. Definitely could have gone the, either way. I may have given it to Bagley. I'll tell you what, we, this we we have the decisions in the next fighters. I, you can't even breathe. No, you can't. You can't. That was a hell of a fight. Yeah, they, that decision was way too fast. Before we said who it could even. It's like they already had it in before the fight was over. Maybe the fix was in. Maybe. Wow, what a fight. Great fight. And he's gassed. Nutsack is gassed. He's with Roan. Guys, I'm with Fat Sack right now. One nut, but he fought like he had 10. You don't lose. No. So it seemed like you had him down in the first round, but he came back with a vengeance. He did. He don't hit hard enough. He doesn't hit hard enough. Now, you had a big right that you were throwing. Where'd you learn to throw like that? All Your way. mother. Oh my God! It, well, she's been teaching a lot of people shit like that. Anybody you want to call out, or are you just gonna get back to that that one nut you got at home? That's a big fat nut. One big fat nut. It's enough for two men. Back to you guys. My mother. All right. Well, here's the thing. We just got informed by All Business Pete, as if things aren't a little bit fast tonight. 
our entire play sheet, our card, the corners have been reversed. So, for example, if you hear a screw up, <laughs> we, we think Kyle we, Jewish Tyson Berkowitz <laughs> is going to be the blue corner. He's now the red corner. Correct, Pete. In my ear, I'm explaining it. I certainly understand it. I don't know how easy it'll be in the heat of calling these fights. But, hey, Pete, you enjoy the truck. You had to make this harder on us, Pete. You had to make this harder. It was going too well. So this is Jewish, uh, the Jewish Tyson. I wish he could have fought Kanye versus Sean the Bucket Brawler King. It's gonna be a good fight, Dave. Uh, Sean the Bucket Brawler is coming back for redemption. He lost a fat sack at Rough and Rowdy 10. Oh, okay. Right. So we just saw that. This is the sixth New York versus New England smoke. fight of the night. And yeah, this is a big entrance for him. Smoke, throwing jabs at camera. Yeah, almost punched the camera there. <laughs> And this is the bucket brawler. I have a monster headache. Do you have any Advil? We do have I have cheap. some in my um... What does that do for me? It's just gonna... It's edibles. Dave's popping some 3 chi right now. Our 3 chi third round. Hold on, don't do that. Brought to you by the pay-per-view. Brought to you by 3G, I should say. 30% off with the code RELAX30. That is the best deal you're going to get on 3G. Usually 5, 10% off, but RELAX30 on 3G.com. I'm going to get you 10% off through midnight Eastern time. All right, here he is, the Jewish Tyson. And the crowd loves him. Yeah, 5-7 versus 5-7. Alexa They are, all right, so here's what I'm understanding now. The way they're giving out water is probably why it's so slippery. It's just wet all the time on these fights. Yeah. The Jewish Bergwitz comes flying out, taps gloves, and they're both swinging here. Or even back shots. I guess it doesn't really matter what corner is what corner. It's red versus blue. Sometimes the music plays to the fights. I feel like they're kind of... A little dance right yeah. there. Nobody's landed anything quite yet. Oh, good right. Did that land? Look nope. like it snapped his chin. Both these guys have okay footwork. Actually, the Jewish uh, brawler, whatever his name is, bobbing and weaving pretty decently. Nothing really landing yet. Nope. Oh, that's a right. He's quick. Yeah, he is. He's, he definitely dictated all the action. Yeah, this is his round so far. Coming forward. Looks like he's been training, right? right? Good defense, the way he gets his hands yep. up. Gets his hands up, bobbing, weaving, quick movement. Pretty good round from Kyle Jewish Tyson Berkowitz. 19 years old. A lot of Barstool uh, employees ringside for this one. We got Mincy, Dougs, Jerry. Frank the Tank, Rob Ninkovich, Jordan Woodruff, tons of people. And then, of course, we have Large with the one and only Rear Admiral. Large? Well, Rear Admiral's just talking his ear off. All right, I'm here with Rear Admiral, a longtime boxing fan. Was that uh, Arturo, uh, Mickey Ward, Arturo Gotti? What do you think about tonight? What a fucking night, right? It's bringing me back to the sport lodge. The sweet science, it was so long, it wasn't good. Rough and rowdy, it doesn't get any better. Unreal event so far. And it's brought to you guys by Whistle Pig. Rear Admiral, this is to you. Cheers, guys. I, Cheers. I, I love Rear Ad so much. He's just such a throwback with the leather jacket and the scally cap. Listen. It's just... He's the best. Central casting can't invent a rear <laughs> He's the best. He's literally, I would say as a joke, he looks like an extra from the town, but he's an extra yeah, from he the is. town. Yes. He, he, and he was probably not trying out. He was walking along the street and like, oh my God, get that guy. <laughs> All right, round two here. Round one, I would say, went to uh, Red Gloves. Good he's Jewish twice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, good right. And I, I, the other guy looks like he's been in the gym a little bit too. Yeah. Pretty even fight. Just getting stalked by the Jewish Tyson, big time. And good defense from the Jewish Tyson. Like he throws and then covers up pretty quickly, which is not generally a trait you see in Rough Rowdy. He even fainted right there if you yeah. saw with the right. Absolutely. Body shot. I gotta be honest, guys. First time I've seen this at Rough Rowdy. We have sweets. People in the sweets. Oh, oh yeah. Shit, you're right. It's, it's, they're like full. And they're packed. Yeah, I don't yeah. think there's an empty suite in the building. That is nuts. Wow. That'd be a hell of a way to take it a rough and round. Right? 
It's kind of an oxymoron going it up is, around in a suite. But it would be fun to just sit there and just booze the whole time. I don't know if there's any way to take in a rough and rowdy that's not fun, to be honest. This has been a great event already. There's the sweets. Look, they're yeah, waving. Look at, that. look at that. I love it. Yeah, because they're probably watching it too. That's yeah, actually jump up sway. Yeah. Yeah, they they probably can hear the broadcast. Amazing. Which is actually one of the great things in a suite yeah. because you can hear us and yeah. see it. The people in the crowd. Oh. Sometimes don't get it all. Dave, you're, you're getting distracted left and right tonight. I was taking some Advil. I was distracted. I was distracted. All right, Larger with the champ. Yeah, guys, I'm here with uh, Smidge the Dorman, the OD, the original dwarf. First showed up in 2019. He's back with a vengeance. What do you think about tonight so far, Smidge? Going there hot and heavy. A lot of good fights tonight. I'm running there right at the beginning. I'm knocking him the fuck out. One fight from now, you're going up against Raging Waters. What are you going to do to him? Go running right out and knock his fucking head off. Raging Waters, you're done. Back to you guys. All right, round three here. Nobody's really been hurt here. Uh, you got to give it to Red. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think the Jewish Tyson's winning on the scorecards, but not a lot of action. A lot of action, not a lot of hits. Jewish Tyson started the round by talking to him a little bit as well. Best little exchange maybe of the night there for Blue. But this looks like it's going to the car. Oh, good shot right there from Blue. This is his best round by far. Yeah. Still coming forward is the Jewish Tyson. But this is definitely the best round of the fight. And that's one of these things. These fights are so quick. You don't have time to feel out your opponent. You gotta go, go, go. It's three rounds. Coming back now here to end the fight. Both swinging. Good fight. Yeah. Gotta, I, I gotta give that though to uh, the Jewish Tyson two to one. It's just a very tough fight to follow. Yeah. By the way, I love it. Oh, here we go. It looks. Oh. Wow. You got robbed. Tough decision. That was. No, no, that, no, I don't no, know what you're seeing. By the way, I love that our doctor tonight has a bow tie. There's something about a doctor in a bow tie. It feels like they're just gonna like. Be like, oh, your head hurts. Here's a, a bottle of opium. I don't know yeah. if Kanye and the, it was involved in that. That was bad. A little Kanye, a little Kyrie. He might have been. Crowd is outright oh, booing. They're mad. Maybe they're even mad. Uh, the person who recently left Barstool. And, and, and you know the crowd is, yeah, you know the crowd is, uh, is like, they're, th this is a hometown guy they're booing. Yeah. yeah. Who, who won the fight unfairly. What does that uh, say? No, I can't no. understand you with my dick in your mouth. No, well, that's a classic shirt. The yeah. Jewish Tyson was from Providence. No, he, he was from New Jersey. No, Providence. That's the wrong. Well, I don't know. We got multiple. It says I he's mean, from Providence have made here. Okay. <laughs> Regardless, <laughs> bad decision. We're, just, we're both right. This next fight is going to be a uh, Dan Dangerous. I don't know what's going on. Oh, well, we got Shizad, who is banned oh. from even being with the fighters tonight. I think it's because of the... He got into it with Pac-Man last night. That's all right, oh, Caleb with Shizad. You nailed it, guys. What happened? What happened last night? Oh, uh, between me and Pac-Man? I told Pac-Man, I messaged him a couple days ago. I said, hey, you said you got some boys that want to fight next event. I said, I got you. He messaged me back, said, okay, I'll set it up. I just reminded him. It looked like he forgot. I don't know if he forgot or he's scared. His boys are scared or what, but I'm ready to go. Did you figure out if he forgot or not? I quit giving a fuck about it, honestly, Caleb. So, so this is your first time probably watching a Rough and Rowdy. It's a lot different. It's What's the biggest difference for you? I get to feel the love of the people. I get to walk up to them. I get to hear it. I get to see it. I want to be in that ring. That's where I belong. I don't belong in the crowd. It, tonight, it's okay. It is what it is. It happened. I'm here. I'm loving it. I'm loving the people. Any final message? Any final message? Y'all wait till I get back in there. Y'all have a good time tonight. It's a, it's a crazy crowd tonight, so y'all going to have a good time here after a while. Watch me next year. It's a crazy crowd. It's true because she's that's in it. Back to you guys. All right, we got David the Fortress Walsh for Dan Dangerous Lemieux, and I will say I'm confused on who's who, but one of the guys 
all you Boston fans, he wore a WZLX Classic t-shirt. Haven't seen that in a long time. So dangerous Dan Lemieux is in the blue corner, and David the Fortress Walsh is in the red corner. All right, so the blue is who wore the ZLX, the one right now in a headlock getting Noogie Nolan Ryan style. Both of these guys are big hockey guys. Is he wearing a ZLX? Wait, he's got ZLX all over his oh, body. He markered oh, it on 100.7 WZLX. What the? That is confusing to me. Now, that's a classic rock station. It's on his front. It's on his back. He wore a T-shirt. I don't... He probably works there. And now he's taking the fight to him. But it's a weird thing to be that proud of Robbie. And there's the noogie move. So Red Gloves loves doing the Nolan Ryan. I think this round goes to ZLX. Oh, oh good oh, right. That hurt him. And he follows up with a bunch of others. Ten seconds around. Let's see if he can finish the ZLX. Classic rock. This is his round. Some good shots there. I am befuddled why he would have ZLX. He goes for the handshake. Nothing. 100.7 WZLX has been around forever. Yeah, it's it's dangerous. Like it. dangerous Lemieux. I'm dying in OI. That's intriguing to me. We're so, gonna have to get Caleb Arona. So afterwards. dangerous, look, yeah. I, Dan, way, dangerous for me. You guys know my, my brains well enough. I will never understand this switch in the corner. I'm never gonna. It's never gonna get to me. Yeah, they really fucked us. I guess if you're wearing the blue gloves, you're blue. Robbie just fixed it. He just crumbled. That's, That's red. Quarter. That's an ass. Red. That's an ass. I can tell the guy uh, who's who's doing quality control next to me. He's a boob guy. He's been kind of giving me like a little huh. Nice. Yeah. All right. Round two. ZLX versus um, the Fortress. Dangerous go. versus the Fortress. It's so strange. I don't want to harp on, but I notice his T-shirt. I'm like, what a weird T-shirt. And then he takes it off. He has it all over him. And they're just swinging right now. This is starting like the first round where Red came out firing. And ZLX answering, answering, answering. Another right. He's landing consistently. Dangerous Dan. Pretty He's entertaining dangerous. fight. Yeah, yeah it is. Back foot, not a lot of power behind that. ZLX, though, this is deja vu. The first three seconds goes to red, and then ZLX wins the rest of the round, I, I feel like. I think the Fortress is, is bleeding a little from his nose. Covering up. Yep, you can see it coming now. Still coming forward, the Fortress. Oh, yeah, good yeah. left. Yeah, yeah bloody, bloody nose, broken nose, possibly. And there's the noogie. Here comes the blood. The Nogi is his go-to move. Give the LX credit. He hasn't complained about being put in a headlock and Nogi once. It's happened him four times. And there it is again. Oh, good right. Kind of slow-mo, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's pizza face now. The oh, fortress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not quite a fortress of solitude. Stool nowhere to be found. He tried to sit down. It wasn't there. <laughs> oh, we got Roan with Jersey Jerry. All right, Roan. Guys, that's right, I'm here with Jersey Jerry, a.k.a. Jerry Fragrance. Frag, what are you wearing tonight? Tonight, I got the uh, special one on tonight. This is the Jeffy. Jeffy? From Guy Fox. Okay. This is something special. You can get about $60 a pop. Some of the best in the business. It was always the Jeffy, always. So that's a nice one right there. It's pungent. Nice it really stings the nostrils when you spray that much. It stings the eyes, stings the nostrils, something special. So what are you seeing out here in these fights tonight, Jer? Oh, this is the best atmosphere when it comes to boxing. This is better than professional boxing. This was always rough and rowdy. It was always rough and rowdy. It was always Jersey Jerry. It was always Jerry Fragrance. Back to you guys. All right, round three. I'd say this fight, if, I think it's 2-0. Um, ZLX, but if someone wins this convincingly, I would give them the fight. And to be honest, we don't know what the judges are thinking at this point. This corner, they keep wiping yeah. it down, no, and then nothing, nothing is happening. It's like they're drinking fucking Vaseline over here. Are they pouring water over there? Yeah, they're pouring water, and they're wiping more water. That's not a good technique. Deja vu. Here comes Red Glove to start with the Fury, and then in about a second or two, he's going to get clocked, and it'll change the tenor of the fight. Good job oh. by the cut man. Kind of there it is, and there it is. Guys, sometimes you just know these fights before it happened. <laughs> that he was almost on the elbow in there. Pull, he pulls into him, doesn't really cover up, and ZLX cracks him. But they're both exhausted right now. Yep. 
Now they're just hanging off to dear life. It's a pushing contest. Good straight. Well, it wasn't good, but it was straight. And it wasn't even straight, to be honest. <laughs> but it happened. He got hit with a punch. They're both gassed. <laughs> That's what he's saying. Yeah, there they're, they're a hugging punch a lot squad. now. Yeah. Looks Holy like they're gonna yes. they're, just, they're, they're now in some weird There's angles. The some Kama Sutra shit going on. And now they hug it out. I gotta give that to ZLX. Absolutely. But the last fight was a mysterious decision. That guy just yelled, Big Cat Wilson Contreras is a Cardinal. Didn't appreciate that. Yep, easy winner. The right call. Definitely. Flexing it out. Has he got a little boner? A little. I, I know we got to find out why he's still pumped up. Maybe he just works at ZLX. He's a marketing guy. <laughs> oh, that's his cup. So we got a uh, little guy fight. Case Smith, the doorman O'Connor versus Robert Dark Surge. So how many little guy fights we got today? I believe two. Yeah, and Smidge is his hometown fight. We've seen him fight in West Virginia. We've seen him fight all over. He's back he, where he's it all from, began. He, yeah, he's, he's from, from Providence, and, and back where he, you know, was was a, a doorman at bars around here. And he's not the champion anymore. But don't sell his accomplishments short. He was the first champion that we ever had here. Yeah, and no one's ever going to beat our current champion. No, Jeremy he's, Smith is the best. He's going to die he's with the that goat. belt. He is Muhammad Ali. Now, Raging Water, Smidge's opponent, was actually named by Frank the Tank. Frank oh, no met kidding. this guy. His last name was Waters, the name was Robert Waters. And Frank said, you should be called Raging Waters. Wow. And stuck from there That's on. pretty good. Fleming. I am patiently waiting. Hold on. Are they going nuts? They're pumped. Brianna just gave us a shirt. Oh. Somebody must have given Brianna these shirts. Wow. It's, it's, it's Rico basically dead. What's the crowd going crazy for? Oh, they're going nuts for this entire crew. For, for Mitch. No, no for this is oh, Mitch's oh. opponent. But the crowd loves this crew. They've been here from multiple rough and rowdies. The crowd loves them. They're going nuts for Raging Cajuns. And Frank the Tank no, documentary. Yeah. Raging Waters. Oh, so Dark, Dark Surge is not his name. No. no. Robert Waters, either known as Dark Surge or Raging. Raging is what Frank gave him, so we'll okay. go with Raging. We'll go with Raging. We never found out why ZLX is ZLX. Oh, yeah. I like this group. Kill they the always have. Get him. Kill the rope and get him. He's still right there. Yeah, I'd love to find out. The crowd is going bananas for both fighters here. They're, they're loving Smidge the door and Ann O'Connor. Second strongest dwarf in the world. All right, so we got Caleb. He's gonna, he's pulling him over right now. Maybe we can get him right before it starts. Do we right, pay Caleb. these guys under the table? Caleb, I gotta know why it's a ZLX. The book is very serious. Why ZLX? So, I made a deal with WZLX. If I wear their sponsorship, they play my original music on their station. Oh! Can you just give us a little teaser what it sounds like? Yeah, my band's Cloud9 out of Walmart. No, 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 You know what we want to hear. Our music is all in spark. No, no, we want to hear the music. I'm a guitar player, I can't. All right, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. That answers that. We knew it was something, and now we go to this fight. They came out swinging. A little peekaboo here from Raging Waters, or Dark Waters, or Surge. And now they're just wailing in tight. Punches, oh, back of the head, holding the back of the head with Smidge, dirty Smidge. Smidge, Smidge started this the same way he started his last fight in Providence, just by just running across the octagon, yeah. the ring. And Smidge unloading. The crowd loves Smidge here, but they also love his opponent. They always have that little get-together in the corner. Yeah, I, I don't know, has Dark Waters or Surge Waters hit the gym? I don't know. Smith doesn't get enough credit for having a great head of hair. What do you mean as he hit the gym? His body looks oh, all right. Oh, he's dancing. Oh. But then he gets wailed. He comes in and gets smoked. Oh, I thought maybe a couple sit-ups. Good right. They call that low fat. What do they call it? Low fat. Even round, right? Or smidge. Probably for smidge. Oh, yeah, smidge see, they are throwing this water all over 
Yeah, they, they, he, they, he just did the spit bucket with no bucket. Uh, I had a, a moment with Smidge earlier and uh, the Ninja Warrior. They were in Bobby Lang's locker room. I was looking for a place to take a shit. So I walked in. They were sitting there. I took like a 20 minute shit and then I came out and they were still sitting there. So Ooh. it's kind of like, a, all Awkward. right, guys. Yeah, they know what happened. See happened you later. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh oh. You guys missed it. Thank God Luke Thank was God asleep. We what it happened? Because we Jesus. had a little, uh, I would. How would I describe it? They, they she touched her generals. They touched with the mistletoe. Vagina. With no, the mistletoe? No, with her oh. hands. Well, they had the mistletoe above it. So yeah. they had to. Yeah. Of course, he was So touched. they were contractually obligated to yeah, do it. Yeah, it was sexual in nature. And and Four, who's oh, now and she's tiny grinding. Taxi. So Four is just having the time of her life. <laughs> Round two. Smidge landed a bunch. And he's holding the back of the head, which is definitely an advantage to hold from his head while you punch him. But you know what? It's rough and rowdy. It is rough and rowdy. He's holding his hands. He's like flailing at him now. Smidge, as we mentioned, is the second strongest dwarf in the world, the first being Jeremy Smith, our champion. And I, I don't know that they're even the same zip code of strength. Tell you what, Raging Waters just landed a pretty good punch. Yeah, he's, 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 he's got of, his composure. Raging Waters was taught very well to keep your hands up. Yeah. Total defense mode at all times. Uh-oh, we got some booze coming. The well, they, they want action. Big little man-woman action. That was a good round for Raging Waters. I don't it want was. to call it one one yet, but it could be on some scorecards. All right, large with Coach Pauly. All righty, guys, so I'm here with Coach Pauly. He's, uh, he's from Hoboken, New Jersey. He's Italian. Talk some shit, Coach. I'm going to knock this guy out in the first fucking round. Rough and rowdy. He's never seen nothing like me. I'm going to bring real boxing fucking skills in here. And after I'm done with this fucking pussy chump, I want big booty fucking bandit. Don't know how to fucking box. Talks a lot of shit. I'm going to put that motherfucker on ice, too. I'll be back in a few months. Let's fucking work, baby. All right, big booty daddy's on call. It's a little three cheat and relax afterwards. Good luck, coach. Back to you guys. We're having interesting moments. Uh, I, again, hope Luke was not paying attention I, because I, I a really, furry yeah. just got fucked. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that the furry who just got helped out of the ring just got fucked. That happened. <laughs> And now the furry's asking for something again. I don't know what. Did you talk to her before? Who? The furry? No. Me neither. I'm not good at small talk. Set it up. Smidge coming out. Round three. Aggressive in control. Totally illegal as he holds the back of the head and throws punches. And yep. Raging Waters is definitely being like, I don't think you're allowed to do that. He also has no mouth guard. Oh. That's, uh, what's his name? That's, uh, Money. Money, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's happening? He's getting his mouth guard back. He game. maybe didn't have a mouth guard. Yep. He was most definitely getting illegally assaulted. Yep. I respect it from Smidge. I'm a Smidge fan. Yeah, and he's telling everybody, he's going, he's grabbing the back of my head. He's dead ass right. He's grabbing the back of his head and punching. You signed up for rough and rowdy though. This ain't the PBC. Yeah, it doesn't say it doesn't say gentle and rowdy. It says rough. It's a fact. I don't know that it would have changed anything in this fight if he no. wasn't doing it. It's all Smith. And there it is again. He's trying. There it is again. Back of the head. It's an effective move. I will say, you always find the rough and rowdy fighters, the veterans, very tight knit. They all root for yes, each other. Yes. Oh yeah. The family. Ten. They're urging on Smith to come in and finish the deal, and he and, might have just done it there. Yeah, it's definitely his round. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think fight. that goes to Smith, and, and his corner thinks so as well. Great moment for the hometown crowd. Good for him. That was a good fight. All right, so we have Paul, Coach Pauly Serra up next. He's the one who just guaranteed victory versus Jake 99 proof guitarist. He's I a, love Pauly. He, yeah, he's a male stripper. He's a male stripper. Only yes. works weekends, though. Only works Only weekends. weekends Only on a weekend. Only weekend. 
to, where does he work? Uh, I think it's probably for call. Okay. So, you know, bachelor parties in Hoboken. All right, so any ladies out there who are interested in uh, Paul, Coach Paulie, Sarah's services. Well, let's wait to see if he wins. You don't want a losing male stripper. No, 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 no. no but you want to be alert. You want to yeah, be paying yeah. attention right Take now. Just notes. know he's available for service. Also, mm -hmm. Trapzilla fighting later on, former male stripper. Yep. Not the only male stripper on this card. Yeah. Uh, Jake 99 proof Katarius has a posse of 10 plus kids that go everywhere with him. Is he saying like literal kids? I, I, that's a lot of that's I, I, a lot I think of kids. They, to you guys, they look like kids probably. Okay, All that's right. a lot of kids. Uh, Caleb, with the winner. Not only the winner, one of the crowd favorites. Can I give you a dude wipes? You can do whatever you want with it. That's not what I thought. What was going through your mind out there? What were you seeing? I was distracted by the crowd at first, not gonna lie. The crowd's pretty good, isn't it? My whole town, of course, they're gonna be good. I started this shit. How many of these people, percentage-wise, come to see you only? Uh, what is that, sir? Percentage-wise, how many people came to see you only? All of them. Who the hell is he? How much can we credit to the hair change, and what's next for you, hair-wise? Hair-wise, uh, blonde mohawk. And if I could, I'd grow a mustache, but I don't got that. Last anymore. question, sorry to cut you off. They say you're the second strongest little man in the world. Yeah. What does it take to become number one? Well, Jeremy Smith, the champion's in the way, and that's next goal for everything. Jeremy Smith, you're next. Smidge, one of the greatest. Back to you guys. All right, people like Coach Pauly. Good, good round of applause here. Now, Providence is a very big strip club town. Is yep. it? Yes, oh, yeah. it is. Big I didn't time. know that. Golden TB's Golden Banana, I believe, is here. There's a bunch of other. Uh, by the way, also, we missed that. Coach Pauly went to the same high school as Mike the Situation Sorrentino. He really? Did. That's quite a fun fact. Recently yeah. celebrated seven years sober. Congrats I believe today the situation. is it's 2,565 days for the In situation fact, sober. I believe Rhode Island people call the state Little Vegas. Do they? I believe they do. I can see it. I gotta know about these 10 plus kids. Oh yeah, you can see Coach Pauly. It's rare you get a fighter who's ready to just, you know, who looks ripped. He's ready to fight for his life in rough rowdy and he has perfectly manicured eyebrows. 99 proof almost looks like a guy who already fought in here. The guy who, uh, who, who fought the ripped guy and was getting pushed around. Yes, yes. Maybe he's his brother or something. As a jersey guy myself, I do have to show a bit of bias in this one. I'm in the corner of Coach Pauly. Coach well, Pauly's ripped. 99 proof does have a bunch of people with them wearing yup hats. His corner here. Wearing the Converse. Ten plus kids, yeah. Converse Chuck Taylors. Keep in mind. They're right behind us. We still have Grace O'Malley. We ha still have Vlog Squad. Susie Anton, Bobby Lang, Pac-Man. We have a lot of people I mean, coming in. The Able Brothers. Brothers. <laughs> both, by the way, the Able Brothers, both signed up for some are saying destruction. Yeah. Yes. And 99 proof says he loves alcohol and can outdrink anyone on Cape Cod. About half of the intern applications bar still gets say the same. Well, if you can outdrink anyone on Cape Cod, you can drink. There's some drinkers there. Here we go. 99 proof. They're swinging. Push. A lot of pushing. Not a lot of boxing yet. The coach, pretty even fight. 99 proof corner screaming, take it to him. A lot of pushing. This is gonna turn into a gas out. Yeah, yet to be really a punch. The ref just got distracted by 99 proof slapping the ring his corner. I wouldn't expect any straight punches in this fight. No, no, it's, this has been push city. Unless someone gets really tired. I, I think the coach is starting to get more tired, but you never know. Big looping right. That right sort of hit from the coach. Oh, and those are like, oh, he what's going on? No, he what's thinks it's going the end on? He thought it was the end of the round. He doesn't realize that's 10 second call. Yeah, he got confused. The Maybe. boys versus the ring. Yeah. Drinking a little bit before he stepped into the ring. Yeah. That's a tough one. 99 proof, totally confusing. To be honest, he may have lost the round by thinking it was over. Agreed. He definitely got confused there. Definitely a bizarre move. I do think Coach Pauly pushed the pace a little more as well. He landed some big shots but he in that definitely, one. I give it to him. He definitely stopped. Like right there, he's just like, he just stopped. <laughs> yeah. He's like, ref, what over? The round's over. The ref's like, no, it ain't. Oh, no, it yeah, ain't. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's tough.
That's a basic thing for all you future fighters. You got to know the difference between the round ending and when it's almost over. Also, you might as well just keep fighting until the ref says no because yeah. they'll let you get away with murder here. Absolutely. The wood versus the bell. By the way, play through the whistle. Shout out to Large, recently got commissioned in West Virginia. So yes. when we return, you might see Large in the stripes or, you know, the black t shirt. All right, round two. I, I, I really think you got to give it to Coach on that last flurry. Yeah. I feel like I, we're going to get a lot more pushing. But maybe it's confidence for Red Gloves that he wasn't even fighting and didn't get hurt. He was more like, what is this? I'll tell you what, 99 Bruce got some banana snaps to his punch. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, nobody has landed anything perfectly solid. I think this is just going to be maybe a gas out situation. If 99 proof was oh, smart. Good shot right there from 99 proof. You got to come in though, 99 proof. I think you heard him. He did. He's a little cross eyed. I think he heard him, but he hasn't thrown a punch since he landed that one. And he lets him regain his balance. The corner on 99 proof. 99 proof should fake like he doesn't know it's the end of the round again and then hit him. Yup. Come on, Paulie. Right now. Make Jersey proud, Paulie. We'll knock him out. I, I, oh, oh, a solid push. Not what we wanted to see in Jersey. Now listen, that's not legal, but in terms of pushes, that was a really good push. Yep, and, and a pretty graceful fall as yeah. well. This fight's up for grabs. It, it is. absolutely is. I think there's one shot that really caused damage, and it was 99 proof. Let's see if this, if this is going to be the punch that hurt him. Nope, that's the push. That's the push. We got the punch. He did get a little cross-eyed there for a second. Final round. Winning round. We got we got uh, shoes that, off now. Is that your girl, Dan? Yeah, I think it is. All the feeling to Jersey Jerry with the shoes off. Yep, shoes off. Jersey Jerry's probably looking at all their feet. Not a creep, just a, a thing guys are into. We don't kink shame. Nope. Isn't that right? There he is. Never. He's like, yeah, he's thinking, ooh. There he feet. is. All right, round three, winning time. I I'm going to say whoever wins this round wins the fight. Agreed. I think you're right about that. By the way, Coach Pauly is a motivational speaker as well. Oh, you don't find them, the strip club motivational speakers. And 99 proof landed coming out. Let's see if he can follow it up now. He's also a businessman. I don't know what that entails. Well, you got to collect the money from the girls. Yep. Oh, good, good combo there from... Um, Blue Gloves, Coach, a little face wash. This fight is still wide open. No idea who the judges will give it to at this point. If anyone can finish this next couple seconds. This is winning time. Who's got it in the tank? Oh, that might be confusing. Nobody landing, pushing. They're both tired. Oh. <laughs> that was a brutal shot. That's a full-on ground and pound shot of the likes of Sean O'Malley. I love it. And, and, and 99 proof corner almost climbed into the ring on the side there. We gotta see that again. I actually don't know if it was a cheap shot because he kind of got down on the ground with him. He tried uh, yeah. to put his head through the cut. Crowd the hates it. The coach is getting booed out of the building for that shot. He was all the way on the ground. Yeah. Here Let's it see is. this again. So it's not really a knockdown initially. And then he just, let me get on here with you. Now that, <laughs> that, that is not legal. That is a Dan Henderson style H bomb. I love when it breaks out to UFC. Boom! I love that. Getting us fired up for tomorrow, UFC 282. Be there. Can, can do that in UFC, cannot do that in Ruffer Audi. I think this is 99 proof, guys. No. It's gonna be a big reaction. Coach I think it's nine. I don't know. The judges taking a while. They're really thinking. Crowds working themselves into a frenzy. Wow. That's right. That's how we do it in Jersey, Jersey. motherfuckers. Crowd That's hate how it. we do it in Jersey, motherfuckers. Crowd hates it. Robbie we, likes it. Crowd I hates it. it. Bada bing. Get out of the ring. We gotta get uh, 
Caleb Arone with uh, that was a coin. Proof. That was a coin flip to me. No idea who won that. By the way, Spider, can you get this guy in the front row here with the uh, glasses and the he's on the phone? What a G. Straight across from oh, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. this guy's from Jersey. This guy's putting a hit on. You see him, Spider? Turn to your left a little, Somebody Spider. Your left. crowd is chanting asshole right now. He's blocked from me right now. Oh, man, I, just, I need him. Well, we know the Ice Wars guys are here. Galati yeah, it might be is here. here. It could, it, Spider's yeah, got he him. Doesn't dress like Spider's that. got him. Show the, we go got to him? Spider Cam, yeah. This guy. He's doing business right now. This, this yeah, guy is. He's business. fucking doing business, big guys. Business. This guy is All right, Carmine, don't fucking Carmine bother me. Yeah, camera's on him too yeah. long. <laughs> camera's <laughs> on him too long. long. Get the camera too long. off. Too long. Get the camera Get off. off. Yeah, yeah. That's better. Yeah. He's doing business. That guy's taking down All right, we got, uh, we got Roan with 99 Proof. Guys, I'm here with 99 Proof. The decision goes off and the crowd boos. Does that mean that there was a wrong decision? Yeah, sure. Please I think they wanted me to win. A lot of allegations that your opponent was on steroids like the Liver King. Any truth to that? I'm not sure. It's a good fight. You think you whipped ass? Huh? Did you whip ass or get your ass whipped? I think I did pretty solid. I found out two weeks ago that I was fighting. Never boxed before, so my first fight ever. I think I did pretty solid. I think he did pretty damn solid. 99 proof deserves some shots tonight, guys. That's actually really, really good. Yeah, it is. For two weeks. By the way, this guy just came in the ring. Zach Mata. What is that? Fighting, say? fighting to save Bradley the cafe? cafe. He was wearing, I think, a Bradley Cafe baseball hat, and the way he put the baseball hat down was like it meant something. It's, so he says he's a local bartender fighting to save Bradley Cafe. He's friends with Vicky D. Vicky D fights this? next. I'm excited for that. How about this? Grandpa was a Golden Gloves boxer. We'll see if he's got it in the blood. He's praying in the corner. He's very, very low key. His opponent looks good. He says he loves wrestling more than boxing, but he has boxed before. He's one and two. He loves wrestling, showed up very cocky, he's got confidence in his promos, and he works out in basements. What is this Bradley Cafe? I don't know. We gotta save it. Do we have to save the Bradley we have Cafe? To save it, Dave. We do have a fund. I right. think we gotta save the Bradley Cafe. All 20% oh. of profits to the brick watch also go to small businesses. There so it is, I'm wearing one. There we yep. go. I'm waiting for mine. Can I get one of those? Yes, yes. A lot of people are like, hey, that looks like a hundred thousand dollar Rolex. All right, here we go, and Bradley Cafe's in trouble. Oh, oh my no. God! And oh, he spit on him. He's yelling at him. Oh man! But he's well, fine. He's he like says a he's caveman. Fine. That's his nickname, and he's like a caveman. Ah, uh, the Bradley. Oh, here he comes. He's not backing down after that initial, but he is getting rocked. Oh, Bradley Cafe. Oh no! They're about to close their doors. Oh right. no! This is bad. So this guy in red was one and two. Who? Yeah. He's had bad rough and rowdy luck that give Bradley Cafe Blue Gloves credit. He's still fighting after getting locked in the opening second. He is. Right, right. Oh, oh good left there, so he the answers it. One. Now that's the difference between come at me versus come at me like the first guy, you know? Oh, but he's getting served. Yeah, he, he takes right a couple now. jabs. His guard, they're getting right through it. Bit of a shoulder. Not a, not a knockdown, that's nope. a slip. Yep. That's the end of first round, clearly red gloves. That, uh, that sucks for uh, Zach Mata, Bradley Cafe, that his uh, cup is just pulling up those shorts so high. Oh I my it's God, up. it's up to his nipples. I, it just like, to get beat up while looking like that, it's, it's brutal. <laughs> Shout out to Bradley Cafe. We're gonna get some more info. Yeah, that's that's, that's that's not fair. That's not fair. His legs are just wide open. <laughs> yeah, too. It's just not yeah. fair. All right, that's a There's lot still of inner thigh. Two two more rounds, so anything can happen. It didn't start great for the caveman. But you know what? Or Who excuse knows? me, he can punch himself out. Zach, I got a little confused again by the corner rearrange. Yeah. Caleb Arone, can you guys talk to that uh, guy with the chains? Be careful, though. Yeah, but I'd like to talk be to him. Be very careful. But be careful. Ask him what business he's doing. Yeah. Waste management. I, I can't condone it if something bad happens. Right to your right, Caleb. Turn around. All right, round two. Right there. He may not want to he, talk. He might say, we ain't doing an interview. No, he's in. We'll get him in between rounds. All right, round two. Rally Cafe hanging in. 
Oh, oh, he did. He hurt him there. Yes, he I did. Think he did. Yes, he, he did. Him. The Bradley Cafe Rocky is out. This guy is out on his feet. This may be it. Can he still go? They're always getting extra time right there. Go running for the corner. Oh, oh, he's out. His oh, legs are wobbly. wobbly. Go in on him, and it's over, I think. Wow, some guts from the red. He's still swinging. Yeah, he's still swinging, but I don't think he knows where he is. We're one shot away from this thing being over. Oh, let's see if he can finish it. His eyes aren't in the building. Let's see if he can finish it. Great courage. Oh. And down he goes. They both go down. He's saying that's a slip. Yeah, There's no won. way that, that was, was a slip. Not a slip. And the, but Red Gloves is on pure courage. That was definitely not oh. a slip. Baseball. He's looking oh, at the ref, he doesn't know where he it's is. A standing eight that he decided to call. I can't breathe. <laughs> he might be saved by the bell here. Still going the bell, how can we come in there? Where is the bell? Saved by the bell. He doesn't know where he is. He's staggered walking oh back. God. He's getting beat up by a guy in short shorts. The Bradley Cafe comes out of nowhere. Caleb, let's go to you quick. Yeah, what do you see in the this fight? And also, what do you do for your job? What do I do for my job? I own a couple um, nightclubs, live music venues, and restaurants. Um, and what I think about the fight, I think it's uh, unbelievable for the city. And uh, and we, we care about what you think about the fight, so tell us one more thing about the fight, but also for your job. You ever do anything kind of murky, anything that's kind of borderline illegal? But we care about the, what you think, too. No, nothing borderline illegal at all. Uh, I think it was a great fight. Uh, can I swear? Do it, do it, do it. I love watching people get their ass whooped. <laughs> I like watching people get fucked up, and this is right up my alley. I love it. Yeah, Thank I you. Up his alley, you know what he means. Yeah. That was an unbelievable second round, by the way. We didn't get the replays on it because we had to get that interview. But what a round. Suddenly, the, everything's changed. I'll give him Red Gloves credit. He was out on his feet. He was. He was yeah. just swinging to stay alive. That was survival swinging. And now Bradley Cafe suddenly looks like Oh, oh a slip, a slip. slip. That's the wettest corner this in the corner. corner. Oh my God. And, and we have we have the Amazon River in Rough and Rowdy This thing tonight. is friggin' wetter than the Ring Girls when I walk into a river. Oh, Are they? Man. I'm still confused. Do they just not try it's it? It's just they're just they're just using a wet towel. Bradley Cafe suddenly feeling like it's gonna be like the Venetian or something. This guy's saving the whole city. Oh, let's see if he can finish the deal now. It's been a great fight either way. One of the most entertaining back and forth. And they're both swinging. Both have been down. Both have been hurt. If Good anybody's shot from the fight. Yes, look at the red. Oh, oh, big shot. How did he take that? How did he take that? And they're both swinging. It's absolute survival mode for Oh, both my of them. God. And now red is absolutely on the attack. That was a monster shot that Bradley oh. took in the corner. What a fight! Incredible. That was as clean a shot as you'll see that Bradley Cafe 8. He's still here swinging. Great fight. Not good, great. Both tired, yeah. How can you not be? Good right. Wow. Dude. What a fight. Amazing, amazing fight. What a great fight. We gotta see about that Bradley Cafe. You gotta save the Bradley Cafe. We're gonna dude. save Bradley Cafe unless they need like 100 mil, but that was the fight of the night easily. What a great fight. Oh, gotta give it, God. gotta give it to Red Gloves. He won rounds one and three. Yeah, the three G matchup of the night, that's it right there. No wow. doubt. Wow. Promo Absolute. code. I wanna see some highlights. Absolute war. Get these boys some three G. Promo code relax 30, you'll get 30%. What off. a great fight. And by the way, Vicky D is coming up next. We saw her last year. Very good fighter. This guy, I mean, I'm, I'm rooting for Bradley Cafe. Are they doing some fancy pants math? This is a pretty easy decision. Well, the crowd's already booing the decision. We've been stunned a couple times tonight. Dude, Dave. this wasn't even close. First round, easy red. Third round, easy red. Second round, blue. It's not even blue close. Killed them in the second Crowd's round. going nuts. That must be the I Bradley think they're Cafe. Chanting blue. The crowd is chanting blue. They are. What is going on? Where's the cards? Interesting Where crowd shot. How does the crowd know they're on camera? Oh, Look at spider. that crowd. They're on the Jumbotron. And Spider's whooping them up. Uh, we, this is must be one hell of a decision. They, they might have their blue and red corner mixed up, too. Are, are we... Are we having uh, some sort of, like, they're, I'm looking at shaky, them, 
Sneaky. They're trying to count him up. Here we go. Just an absolute oh. hose job. I don't know, Dave. He dominated the second round. Yeah, but he the red dominated the third. That's a horrible decision. And I like Bradley Cafe. That was sounds like you don't. Highway sounds like you don't. Damn, that was highway robbery. I think we didn't watch the highlights. Of there is no way you can. He won round two. There, all he three rounds him. were clear. Yeah. Wow, what a fight! What Absolute a fight. robbery! Absolute robbery! What a fight! The fight of the night, but robbery. All right, Wait. let's go with. Uh, we got Roan with. I guess we're gonna call him the thief. Guys, we're here with the Feast Bradley Cafe. What does it mean? What were you fighting for tonight? Fighting for a lot. My grandfather, God rest his soul, former Golden Gloves. That meant a lot. My grandfather on my down side passed away in November. I'm fighting for him. Fight for Big Bry over at Brad's, the former owner. Meant a lot to me, so that was for him too. You got a tear in your eye, blood in your nose, and you had an incredible opponent. What do you think of the uh, character of the guy you were fighting against? You know, hey, he's a great fighter. Um, can't, can't say anything less about that. You know, it was kind of a douche when we were <laughs> talking all that, but hey, you know, kind of. it's all the past now. He's good. He's a good fighter. This crowd loved you. Do you love him back? Hey, it's the Friar fucking faithful. What can we say? We're in my fucking hometown in the amp where the Friars play. Like I said, the Friars don't lose at home, and I didn't lose at home. 1-0. Let's go, baby. Now, that would have been an there electric speech if they could have heard him, but only yeah. us hear that yeah, speech. He thought, yeah, he thought it was over he the He thought the he was the whole tron. crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I also like the, the, the sportsmanship of Rough and Rowdy. That guy, he's a good fighter. He's a class act. He was kind of a douche. All right, we got a fight of the night. That was what it was. Three G. Just look at the highlights here. Major knockdowns. Oh, oh, oh man, that was amazing. An this amazing this is a huge shot that comes up here. Oh no, that's a replay. The other one. Just an all-out slobber knocker, in the words of Jim Ross. That All was right. awesome. So here we go. We got Vic, Victoria, Vicky D, Tierrico, and this is not her. This is Heather One Shot McDonald. So we have to go all over the country looking for an opponent good enough for Vicky D. And we found Heather in Maryland. She is a tough man champion. She's 3-0, 27 years old. She's got a lot of experience. And I think she's going to put up a very good fight against one of the best we've ever seen in Rough and Rowdy. Well, yeah, Vicky D fought a professional fighter last time she, who yeah. turned pro after the fight. Leanna Cruz, she's and now it, a pro boxer. And it was a basically an even fight most of the way. So, and for everyone at home, we're going to have Ryan Whitney join us next fight he's gonna he's gonna hang till uh the able brothers and the hockey the hockey versus the able brothers guys so he'll be on for, for about four fights so the crowd here obviously loves vicky d she's from north providence so a hometown favorite a huge posse every time she comes out she's got a huge crew with her and she wants all the smoke you see the smoke on screen right now vicky d wants to fight sherry bomb and alex bennett those are her two call outs after this fight i think vicky would have her way with them no offense to those fighters but vicky d is a 24 7 trainer I, when i say trainer i think she like always trains to fight yes former Providence College cheerleader, but obviously not just a cheerleader, as we see in the ring. She is a badass fighter. And I, I haven't seen Heather fight, so maybe that maybe she's gonna have what the antidote is. I have no idea. Vicky's but, fought a lot. She's three and two, right? She's been beat before. Heather has never been beat. Heather so this will be interesting. McDonald. And I'll tell you this, Heather, if she wants to win this, it can't go to the scorecards with the scoring we're seeing today. No, not here in Providence. We are having some hometown cooking with these refs. Yep. Both girls Judges. bouncing on their feet right now. Waiting like for the bell. Fighters. Yeah, they're just waiting for the bell. Well, we am waiting for Vicky's corner to get off the ropes. All 27. And here we go. Touch gloves. See, these girls, you can tell right off the bat, are a lot better than, like, our typical female fights, I feel like. The quick the posture, the fit, like snapping jab. Yep. Like real fighters. These little fights that copy box gets workouts. Yeah, yeah, like you could turn this on.
TV and be like, oh, there's a real professional women's fight yes. right off the bat. They're both covering up, they're both snapping punches, and seemingly are very evenly matched. But good, good straight punches from Vicky D here. Oh, good shot right over there. Over again. Yep. Been caught with a couple of looping punches, but it looks like her straights are working. They found a good well. opponent for her, I'll say that. I, I was wondering why I saw she was fighting. Like, who the hell is she going to fight? Good right. Uh, Here's oh, the opponent. Yeah, and Heather's taking control there. A couple good shots. You know, I recall in the first one, Vicky got hit a bunch, and then she responds with a jab. Great chin. Both these girls moving, bobbing, weaving. Very, oh, good shot from Vicky. Very clean, close first round. Another one. Oh, good wow. left. Great, great head movement there. And Vicky gets the crowd going, which is smart. Yeah. Yeah. That was a very even first round. You, you, what? Yeah. It was even, but you saw Vicky start to take control by the end of it. And what we said, we're fighting in her hometown. Yes. She, and the judges are showing if you're going to be the underdog on the road, you better win convincingly. That was definitely Vicky. If anything, it was Vicky's round. It was yes. very close. And you can tell you can tell we have these fight like the girls know how to fight when you see the uppercut. We don't see the uppercut a lot in, in rough and round. And that was guard snap. Yep. And by the way, a lot of Combos. times our women fighters, all fighters get very tired. Neither of those girls no. were no. I mean, look at the replay. They're they're just throwing quick, good punches. Nice, nice punch. Snapping the head back. Yeah, that uppercut right there. And it's nice that she could you could tell she knew that it was effective and she went back to it again and again after that. One shot actually has a sister who's a fighter as well. One opportunity. Her parents had one shot, one opportunity. All right, round two. These girls just swinging in the middle. Good left there. Very evenly matched fight. Couple of straights landing for both girls. Yeah, both keeping good distance and snapping their punches. Vicky's doing a good job ducking under those punches and then coming back up with a hook. Got a little one way or another. I'm going to get you playing. A lot, they're very similar round. Both those things landed from Vicky. Oh, good left, good right. Coming forward. Good defense from Vicky. Great, another great right. defense there. A little dancing from her, too. She's feeling it. This has been a better round, I think, for Vicky than the throw. Oh, good left. I agree. She's found her range. She got tagged up a little at first this round. She's played been great. Basically, I don't think she's going to hit this round. 2-0, Vicky. Yeah. Touch yeah, gloves. Round. Let's go to large in between rounds with the champ. Hey guys, I'm sitting here with the uh, with the undefeated champ. Listen, they were already calling this the best rough and rowdy ever. As the main event, what are you going to do to put a bow on this tonight, man? Well, first of all, I got to remind everybody, especially the people in New England, my home fucking space, um, why I'm the fucking champ. Fucking already beat Pac-Man and Jones once. I don't know what the fucking buzz about him is. Everyone's fucking. That's all they're talking about. Oh, Pac-Man Jones, Pac-Man Jones, better gonna, gonna be better this time. Well, guess what? So fucking am I. So I'm coming here to fucking beat him just like I did a year ago. I'm gonna remind everybody why I'm the fucking champ. I gotta ask this. If it doesn't go your way, we're we gonna see part three? I've never lost a fight in my life, but I can only imagine that if I did, I'm gonna want a fucking rematch. So yeah, you bet your ass will be a part three if it doesn't go my way. But I'm not even letting that fucking happen. Damn right, you heard it here first. Back to you guys. All right, round three, I'd say it's 2-0, Vicky D. Yep. But her opponent's very good. Damn, Heather, Heather sure McDonald, she's absolutely sticking good. in there. Yeah, don't count her out. And, and even they're both full of energy. Yeah. I would actually, oh, they come out saying good shots. Bob and Weaven. I'm curious how often both these girls are in the gym. Very little holding this fight. They're both at distance the entire time with throwing punches. Yeah, and Vicky's hitting her with that. Up, up, yep. up. Every time. Oh, good shot. Stiff. Every time that her head is snapping. Oh, that great. Vicky taking control. And look at the bobbing and weaving and nailing. She's good so defense. Good. Right to offense. Oh, good right. All oh, Vicky. Each round getting stronger. Yeah. This will be the first loss of Heather D's career, right? Correct. She's yes. 3-0 as, as of this fight. And a tough man champion, but Vicky D is now having her way. Just snapping punches off her face. A lot less coming back from Heather. Another one. Everything is landing from Vicky. Everything. 
one after another. Oh, man. What a performance. What a finish from Vicky D. She yeah. can fight. She wants Cherry Bomb, she might get her. Oh, I absolutely. She's well, an unbelievable fighter. I don't fighter. know. I... She's a problem. Vicky D is a problem. Vicky D, which I think wants to go pro, she could go pro. Yeah. But shout out to Heather One Shot McDonald. She was more than game. Just Absolutely. got worn down by a very good fighter. Great opponent. I, th I think Heather D may be the, the second best female yeah. fighter right. we've seen. Right. It was just the speed of Vicky D took her out. Or third, the Leanna Cruz is also great. I gotta be honest, when I heard she was fighting in this, I was surprised because I tried to get her to fight right away after we saw her and I thought she was going pro. Yeah. So I'd like to see one of these girls fight Cherry Bomb, one fight Hot Wheels. I, I'd be oh, very be nice. Well, Cherry, you gotta give Cherry Bomb, she's a champ. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you, I, I mean, I but think, I think Heather McDonald think Hot Wheels think, is a good fight. I think it's Vicky D Cherry Bomb. Yeah, I think Vicky D would have a way, but I could be wrong. I mean, she just strikes me as someone who doesn't get tired, just throwing punches. I could be wrong. She was incredible. All right, let's get Witt over here. And Ryan Whitney will be joining. I'm sure we're going to get uh, Caleb or Rome with uh, Vicky or Heather. Caleb with Vicky. I'm here with Vicky. I'm going to cut straight to the chase. People want to see Vicky D and Cherry Bomb. Cherry Bomb. Well, I got a belt. She's got a belt. Should we make it happen? <laughs> I think we should make it happen. Let's make it happen. I want another fucking belt. And who promised me a shot? Was it you? I think it might have been Adam Perone. No, the other guy that's dressed up like you. Yeah, Adam Perone. What a fucking shot! <laughs> Listen, and when you come back and you take on Cherry Bomb, who's one of the greatest female fighters of all time. That's what I heard. My girl Casey gave it to her a few times, and I think she deserved to win. What will you do to Cherry Bomb? What I did today, but times 10. You're one of the best technical fighters we've had all night, maybe ever. Vicky D, hometown hero. Wait, hang on. We're still some badass chicks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, again, I, I do think she's the best female fighter. Her or the girl she fought the first time, Leanna Cruz. It was great. She went pro as well. She's had a couple USA boxing matches since then. All right, Witt, what do you think so far? What a night. Holy shit. Never been to one. This is outstanding. What an atmosphere. I don't know if they're all like this, but I'm blown away. And that girl would have beat the shit out of me. Oh, yeah. That girl can yeah. fight. That girl is she's a legitimate awesome. contender. Yeah. She says she wants Alex Bennett. That's a knockout. Oh, oh she, she, no. yeah. that, That's a Alex, knockout. That's a knockout. Like Alex, Alex, Alex Bennett's friend. got four inches on her. No, Alex. Still don't. knocked out. Oh, yeah. whoa. Oh my god, is that the only fans model? He, no, he, so this is his opponent, your <laughs> average kebab guy. Yeah. Okay, so 200,000 followers on TikTok. That's a lot. That's, that's a, a lot. lot. That's Hold no on. joke. That's pretty serious. His, na his nickname is his name is Jalal, your average kebab guy at yeah. 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 That may be the best nickname we've ever had. It, yeah. <laughs> he's wanted to fight all year, but he just turned 18 last week. He couldn't fight. This guy your over average here. Average kebab yeah. guy. Hey, average kebab guy looks confident. He's hairy and yeah. he loves kebabs. He's he, your he, average yeah, kebab look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Let's go, Lord. You're fighting an OnlyFans model. You better win. Yep. He turned 18 this week. He looks 35. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's 47. He looks like he could be your average kebab guy. He is. Oh, no. yeah. he, he made a he kebab for it. me on the way down. Yeah, he nailed it. So he, this guy is an OnlyFans guy. guy fighting the Jordans? He yeah, is. So he's, he's got 169,000. His original opponent. Look, that's yeah. one of the worst tattoos on his chest I've ever seen. <laughs> Wait a minute. The, the original opponent bailed. Oh, he's gelling his hair, guys. It's like a soccer player. Wow. I like that. And, I like that. And your average kebab guy stood up to the challenge because he's your average kebab guy. All right. Yeah. Pushing the hair back didn't work at I all. I think you got to root guy. for your average kebab How guy. How can you not root for the average kebab guy? All you got to do is guy. tell me like gyros. Oh! He's thundering! Oh my average kebab guy came out of my throat! Average kebab kebabs! Average kebab. Holy shit! Holy fuck! The slap punches, I don't even know if they hurt, oh but he's got the hair going a million miles. The ocean, the uh, OnlyFans guy's got pop hair. Imagine returning your fucking kebab with this guy. Holy moly, sorry, too much sauce on this one. Holy fuck, that is a start. The OnlyFans guy hasn't recovered. Get the hair out of your face, bud. Well, that's why he's greasing it. What a start to that fight from the kebab. Look how confident the kebab guy is. I will say those punches are the worst. They're not, they, they really. They're overhand slaps. <laughs> yeah, they don't do much damage. No, they don't at all. What is 
is this butt in the corner on the screen? We got a butt on the screen. Bottom right. Not on the screen that people can see. But. Put this bottom right <laughs> butt. Make that go fast. It's dead. Put the butt on the Put screen. Put the butt on the screen. Where's the butt? Oh. That's butt on the screen. It's, she's got to pull those pants up. Where's Spider? Bottom right butt. Bottom right butt. Oh, bottom right butt. Oh, right. oh, the ball going right. Where's the butt on the screen? The there it is. Let's go for the stand the last one. Let's go. Just a butt. That's a dumper, boys. That's, That's a just a butt. And the yeah, rear one of this is his back. 15. Oh, 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 what is that? There was a two. Oh, they call it a dance. Oh, 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 yeah, but yeah. Come, yeah. come for the fight. Stay for the dumper. That's kebab guy fell in Dean's lap and he was just looking at the butt. <laughs> well, the butt came out. What is that? A megaphone? This girl has. Oh, oh my God. It's, it's Jimmy Hart over Jim, there. The what butt's got a hype man. Hey, poor kebab guy's getting up showed by the dumper. <laughs> Jesus, Jimmy, the mouth of the South over there with the <laughs> megaphone. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> They were so fucking... And by the way, I'm, I'm in, like, society mode. I saw someone slap her on the ass. I'm like, oh, shit, that's trouble. No, it just got her to start dancing. No, we're just in Providence. Yeah. By I the like way, you're in society by mode. The way, you just saw a butt on screen. You're like, put that butt well, on the screen. Why, who is putting this butt in my face? Yeah. All, hey, all Kebab guy wanted was Dave to look at him, and Dave's looking at the dump yeah. Yeah. Oh, all Kebab. Kebab guy coming out again now on his bicycle. Oh, look oh, at that. what is that from Birdman? Oh, OnlyFans mom. Models tougher than I thought. Oh yeah, no, you gotta be, listen. You that, have to be tough to fight in this. Well, yeah, that, uh, Josh is his idol. He said that. Yeah, I mean, you could see it. Look at that tattoo on his What's chest. What's happening? Well, come on, Rob. The Bob guys. No, he swallowed a kebab. <laughs> the Bob guys talking to Rob. Keeping it in there, yeah. Come on, kebab guy. Rob saying, hey, I hey can't how, about, you. how about kebab guy wax in the back for this fight? I like it. Pro move. Why do you think they call this guy Birdman? He's showing his hey, pecker all over the place? Oh, Birdman's got a hog on him. You can tell. A Jeff D. Lo hog. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, is, what was kebab upset about? Uh, I, I think he, he swallowed a kebab. I think he was trying to talk and the ref couldn't hear him. No, how could he? He's got no, the mouth I know. talk to Dave. <laughs> right. Slap bite, slap bite. They're throwing like hard, not effective Slap. punches. Yeah. yeah. A lot of speed. I think Kebab guy, he was planning on knocking him out with that first punch and now he's fucked. Yeah. Crowd's starting to boo. When Don't. the crowd boos you, you're done. Average kebab guy seems gas. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. And they don't realize that. That's not the end of the round. Not it's fighters. Still fight, boys. Not fighters. That is confusing a few wow, guys. My tonight. first fight, the whole place is pulling. Somebody give him a kebab. Can, can we see the, the opening the opening punch from kebab guy? Let's go back to that dumper. <laughs> Let's watch. The, do we have, I don't know. Do the we have opening tech, punch? We may not have technology to go two, two rounds back. Oh, my God, guys. The crowd's losing it. What are they mad about? The, the fight. The fact that they haven't thrown any punches since the first bell. Wait, but what was that? I think Jerry got him whooped, whooped up. Jerry, the, the guy who runs the whole show. He said something, and they I all I think moved. he said, like, how about it for these two fighters? Oh, here, so, here we go. Here's the beginning of the see. fight. Bink. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. Not many OnlyFans oh. models can survive that. No. <laughs> he was stunned, but Kebab guy just couldn't answer. These are not pretty punches. <laughs> no, no. God, no. no. This is like me fighting. He's going to have to lower his subscription rate. Monthly Look, he's getting a lesson. Fight. He's getting it's, a lesson. It's a little late for lessons. <laughs> Way late. It's if like, you're getting a lesson after the second round. You're craving for the test as you walk in. This is like yeah. a golfer getting a swing instruction on the range before Kebab the final guys, round. Kebab guy's giving me a look. I gave him a thumbs up. I didn't know what else to do. You got to. He's going to give you a kebab. He was all, all kebab guy wants is Dave's attention. <laughs> he was staring right at me. This is his interview. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to fight just so I can be in front of him. All right, round three. That was an abnormally long break in between. Kebab oh, guy, more oh. energized. Oh, this is back of the head. Kebab guy saying I'm getting hit in the back of the head. Too He's going to complain. You come to the wrong place if you complain to the ref nonstop. Yeah, you can't and the ref do that. is telling him you're showing him the back of your head. Throw a bra on oh, that oh, guy. Oh, come on, oh guy. the crowd is all over oh. these guys. Oh, oh that's done. it. He's no more. It's done. Roberto Duran. Oh, Jersey Jerry oh. throws in the towel. <laughs> Jersey Jerry threw in the Jersey towel. Jersey Jerry's had <laughs> enough. He's disgusted. Jerry doesn't want any more. Kebab guy, Dave, talk to him, Dave. I don't know what you want me to do, Kebab guy. guy. get in the ring. That's what I'm for the Rowdy. It happens, man. Oh, you cut him, Kebab. Why are they staring at us? Why are they looking at us, guys? We were the bomb guy. The bomb guy thought that he could quit and then be like, "The crowd will have my back." Kebab's like, "Am I still getting paid for this?" 
He cheated. All right, well, we got to get an interview with Kebab. Ka Kebab Worst guy is unhappy. Roan, talk to Kebab guy, please. <laughs> please, Roan. They touch gloves. It's not really that way. Kebab guy. Ka Kebab guy in all time. I, I, I think you're right. Kebab guy's plan was I'm going to yeah. land this punch. He's, He's still not telling good. everyone they hit me in the back of the head. Has there ever been a shooting star like Kebab guy? <laughs> to be Kebab guy and then throw that first punch and then the, it went all downhill the from there. The crowd is not happy. And of course he got hit in the back of the head. We've had guys laying on their back getting assassinated tonight. Grown with Kebab guy. Kebab guy, incredible first round. What happened after that? Dude, he kept hitting the back of my head. Yo, we we played the footage. We played the footage. He kept hitting the back of my head. It seemed like you were complaining a lot. Was that part of your strategy? He kept hitting me back in the head. I told him to stop it. He didn't make him stop. He wouldn't stop. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Are you frustrated right now? Yes, I'm fr frustrated. You can say why. You can just get your emotions out. <laughs> He hit the back of my head. The ref didn't stop it. If the ref stopped, I would have fucked him up. He would have fucked him up. If you want to cry, this is the time to. Fuck no. The crowd is, is on on happy. The crowd's on you. What do you have to say to the crowd? Jesus. I love you guys. <laughs> I don't. He's 18. He'll have time. He'll make better yeah, kebabs. He's young. He's... Back gonna, to you guys. I'm going to push back on the idea that if the ref had stopped the back of the head, he would have fucked him up. They guys, are. guys, I would never buy a kebab from him. <laughs> what, what, ever. What an all-time line, though, to be like, I asked him to stop, but he wouldn't stop. <laughs> he is getting roundly booed Look at here. this. Look at this. They're throwing potatoes and tomatoes at him. Guy, not his best performance. You, listen, if you come to Rough and Rowdy, it ain't gonna be ref like a uh, the most technical fight. What do we got here? We got Bobby Joe, beautiful Tony versus Mercedes Savage Sadie Lynn. And the Abel brothers coming up next, back to back. Hey, this is like giving a speech at a wedding after the first person bombs. Yeah. yeah. This next fight has to be better. But that was a weirdly, that's the beauty of Rough and Rowdy. The bombs are sometimes the best ones. All right, so we just got word that Large is refing this fight. Unbelievable. Yes, Large, Large is in the is ring refing. This oh. fight. So Large told me that he's he's a, he's a ref in West Virginia, but they let him go with the dwarfs here. Wow. Unreal. This is Mercedes Savage Sadie Lynn. She's friends with Tiny Texi. She loves to fight and she loves to fuck. What does okay. that say? Okay. www.featurefans.com. Is that is that Kebab's company? I, I think that was the girl with the megaphone. Yes. Oh, with the There's dumper. a huge crew, a huge crew. And she is fighting Bobby Joe, beautiful Toby, who I believe Bobby Joe is actually is this who I think it is? The we've seen her before. Yeah, she's great. She's Bobby Joe's oh. great. She is great, yeah. She could be a fighter. She could also be like Miss America little person, I think. Her brother. She is beautiful. It's a good nickname for her. Her brother is actually going to be Jeremy Smith's next opponent once his wrist heals. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. You got all the info, Robbie. Yes, I Damn, do. Robbie. The, um, oh, oh, oh. Is that a gritty? Look at, look at her guy right here. Coach, coach Tank, Tank, the Coach Tank crew. He looks like Lieutenant Dan a little bit. Yeah, he does. he does. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Here he is. Oh, look at the ups. Look at the ups. Do we have him mic'd up or no? No, I don't think so. He can hear us. Though, Large I think. gets a big he one. He can we hear good. us. All yeah, right. we're good. Large we just got Large. certified as a ref. Big pop for Large there. He Absolutely. can hear us. So we've seen beautiful um, Bobby Joe before. She's very good. Oh, we have not seen.
generation dwarf fighter. She is. That's great. I think her first fight was with us last time. No, was I that her debut? I think it was. I think either one of these guys would beat the kebab guy. I was going to ask you guys a question. Um, round one happened. You guys are all still thinking about kebab guy, right? A little bit. Yeah. I can't get him off my mind, unfortunately. They hit the back of his head. He really left a mark. Hey, you me. know, it's going to be exhausting when your feet can't touch the ground either for the rest. That, that's, that's true. That takes that's, a lot out of your leg. That's put, nothing. That's a shortcoming. Put your feet on the... On the the little thing to put it on. Well, you gotta rest your feet here. These, yeah, are, these are little problems. Thing. What? These are little problems. True. Little world problems. Oh, now I get it. The all the small things. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> I didn't get this song yeah. until now. That was stupid of me. I Round? just kebab guy just to take over. Who, who do you have? Well, he's definitely in the back on his cell phone, like talking to his like. He's like, I told him stop. <laughs> <laughs> who do you have winning that round one? That was a close. Beautiful round. Bobby Joe. Yeah, Bobby Joe got that. Maybe barely though. Yeah, very tight. And if Savage Sadie wants really? to sell OnlyFans, she's gonna bring more here. They both bought it. They just take turns, and she's wearing feature fans on her ass is what she's a part of clearly. And they're both taking turns coming at each other. That's oh! wrestling. If Bobby Joe won that muscle power and got a punch in. I don't think Savage's mouth turns in all the way. Good little left there from Bobby Joe. A little slow down in this one. Lars doing a good job. Oh, what was that from she Bobby Joe? Lucky. Yeah, and she got caught. But she comes back. Big right, big right. Bobby oh, Joe comes back after getting caught. But Savage isn't going anywhere. Hands up, ready to take a bunch. Large is looking even larger in there. Yeah, Savage came to fight. Respect to her. Very even fight. I think a lot of people looked at this as an OnlyFans model versus a fighter, but these are two fighters. Yeah. She likes to fight and fuck, she said. She likes to fight and fuck. Oh, good right right there for Bobby Joe. Wow, this is oh, a little, little cheap shot. Oh, Large got to get a hold of that. This is an even fight. Oh, uh, yeah, I think it's 2 nothing, Bob Joe, oh, but... Dave, your ass is back. Oh, here's oh, the thumper. Yeah. Like, here's the thumper. I'll see you live. It's a professional technique to wear the sweat. The sweat. Yeah, yeah, right underneath it. Yeah, How yeah. are the sweat staying up, guys? It's like an this? action shot. Yeah, yeah it's a professional technique. Remember the old technique. gift? Um, Shay Laren. This is kind of how Ooh. R.A. wears his Shay Laren, the, the girl who... Uh, Penn State? No, she pulled up the jeans. It's like an I, I, know, I know who you're talking about. Oh, yeah. I know who you're talking about. And it all time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, the yeah. Marge has used that. All right. It looks like Caleb has megaphones. Shout out Shay Laren. I've done a lot of good things, but I did... I did wrangle the megaphone woman. It's a, everybody? It's me! Hey, you have a lot of power tonight. What are you trying to express? What are you saying into that thing? Everybody stop what you're doing and follow Tiny Sexy. I am in as well as She's done. Thank you to the megaphone girl. She's still going. All right, round three. I actually think if someone won this, oh, did we just start getting the seconds? Is that, no, that's why Lars is large just saying fight. Lars just telling him to go. All right, round three. I think if someone wins this definitively, they can steal the fight. Agreed. Otherwise, 2-0 -oh Bobby Joe. But the rounds haven't been total blowouts. Those are hammer shots yeah, from they Savage. Are. Oh, they're they're oh, coming from 12 to 6. She dances away, but you, Savage comes right after her. No breathing room. Oh, a headlock. And now, oh, come oh. on, Lars. Take control of the fight. Bobby Joe, Santa's getting away from you, Lars. Great job, Lars. They're running out of gas, folks. It is ironic that Large was chosen to yeah, yeah, yeah. this fight, you know. Well, I guess that's how they work him in, because he said that's how they, the commission told him he had to start. Flurries of exchanges. These girls have, like, equal power. Yes. They're not, like, when they get tight, nobody yeah. has the advantage. Yeah. Large looks like he's repping a Lego fight right now. We need, a, we need a couple punches here, guys. Final couple seconds, Large claps his hand. They may keep swinging, and that's it. I think it's Bobby Joe, but it I wasn't easy. I think it's easy. Bobby Joe's fight. S split decision, though. By the way, I cannot wait for this next fight. Abel. Casey Aedias Dale versus the, uh, Spencer Muerte Blanca Abel. <laughs> this will not go the distance, no. guaranteed. No. When you got a guy from Pittsburgh fighting a guy from Lincoln, Rhode Island. We've seen both these guys. The Able guys are some of my favorite fighters we've ever had. Aedias is a legend of this sport. He's done knockouts, got yeah. knockouts. 
I'm a little worried for the Abels. And, and, but Aidas, though, has not fought since he got knocked out by Shazad the Rizak. But he has no. asked yes, to fight. Yes, yes, yes. He's from Providence, so but this he has, for him. he has eaten ass he since has he got knocked out. He has, he has. A big, big show of respect. The Abel brothers are true rough and rowdy stars. You gotta love the respect after the fight. Have though. you seen these guys fighting the Abel brothers coming up? They I, are. I, I have, and I, I, I think they're both gonna get knocked out. Ha, have you heard them talk? They can. <laughs> they're, oh, they they're, can. They're, they're excellent. They actually are excellent. Really? They also, yes. they also have a podcast. I went to look at it to see, like, hey, should we hire these guys? The first episode I saw, it was just titled George Floyd. <laughs> oh, I was like, okay. okay. <laughs> no, we're going to pass on these guys. Yeah. If it was anything else, we would have hired them. And here he comes. Here comes Muerte Blanca, Spencer Abel, who I love. When are the Abel brothers going to fight each other? That's the question. Uh, no, never. No, never. No, no, no that's never. a fair question. You always ask about the Klitschko. Never. Never. These two, these two are thick as thieves. That's, never. That's like Frankie's dad a little bit, it looks like. A Little. He does I, look like a Mr. By Morelli. the way, he is in by far his deepest water today. Yeah. He's but lost he a also, ton of weight since his first yeah, fight, though. He, looks he good. said he's in his best shape. They went to a real boxing gym. He also did. We offered them rematches versus lesser opponents. They wanted no part of it. They said, "Bring on a good guy." All right. But this guy is very good. Casey I eat Dale ass. is a good guy. So this guy, he's even got the Pittsburgh colored trunks. He's oh yeah. Go. No, they're Pittsburgh through and through. Yeah. Jersey Jerry and the Abel brothers. It's like a band. And here comes I Eat Ass. I Eat Ass was just eating ass backstage, I was told. So we, we have this Abel brother fight in the next one. They are both, in my mind, prohibited underdogs. Did yes. you see his quote, Dave? No. It said Elon Musk, Joe Rogan, and Dave Portnoy eat ass too. He, he generally has something with my name. Here we go. Oh, uh, Joe Rogan. Mashup. Joe, Joe Rogan eats ass. ass. Yep. So a gift from I eat ass. Yep. Here, Here we go, go, boys. Here we go. Two legends. I eat ass. And they, by the way, maybe Muerte oh. Blanca shot us in a good little uppercut there. All right. So they're feeling each other out. I eat ass throws bombs, guys. He does. He also is victim of one of the biggest knockouts in the history of this organization. But he, he either knocks out or gets knocked out. Oh, that was a big right. It was. He's looking to make Abel's face look like a rusty trumpet so he can get munching. Yep. And he also yep. wants revenge. He'll, uh -oh. he'll knock you out, then he'll eat your dumper. Oh, oh good shot salad. right there. Good shot for my ass. When guys have boxing shoes on, you respect them. Oh! A little muscle in. Little muscle in. He may be talking to him in the corner. Big right there from Abel. Just missed. He, he can't really find his range. It's a lot yeah. of tying up. Little headbutt there, it looks like. Joe Rogan eats oh, ass. Get him here with the liver shots. I'll tell you what, Muerte Blanc is handling himself. Yep. I would give that round to I eat ass, but it was close. It does look like he's going to a boxing What is this sign? I eat ass has soft teeth. Huh. Is wow. that a good oh, thing or a bad thing? No, that'd be a good thing, right? Yeah, because who would bring an I eat ass sign? Soft, soft teeth. You, you know, don't, yeah, you don't I don't want, think you want hard teeth. No, you don't want to. Yeah, it's, it's, I think you want hard teeth. No, dude, I don't know. You don't want to cut them when you're eating. It's, a, it's the same as it'd be like the opposite end of the blowjob. Like, you don't want hard teeth. Well, well you, you should not any teeth. teeth. You right. should feel teeth. No, no, you should know when he's eating ass. He has soft teeth when he's eating ass. I'm almost worried that Robbie thought having the hard teeth eating dumper would be good. Yeah, you are. I thought eating food. I thought we were eating runs and hard candy. You want your ass eating like a corn cob. Bro, you would. I think the better sign is you won't even know he has teeth. Yeah, Not, exactly. Yes. Yeah, be like, he has ghost teeth. Correct. Then that he should would be, be rooting to get knocked out so he gets his teeth knocked out. Where, where did, well, where did his teeth come from? from? Wait, he what has teeth? What the fuck yeah. is that? Oh, this oh guy has teeth? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ass. No is teeth. That, is that no teeth. Finer? <laughs> it might be. <laughs> it might be. All right, round two. There we go. There we go. Good, good left, but he ate it. He ate it and is coming forward. Oh, he's lost. Oh, face wash, body shot, rabbit punches, still punches. Hey, big right. And did he I get caught there? I, I, I think Abel may have gotten caught a little. He blocked. Oh, my Ooh. God, they're just missing knockout punches. And now he's pushing him around to get leverage. He doesn't want to tie up Aida's. 
but he hasn't landed the big one yet. This is a great game plan from Abel, though. He's tying the yep. ice ass up. He's not allowing him to get those big shots off. Yeah. I think he knows he's throwing haymakers, so he's staying safe, as safe as he can. Making it dirty. Oh, that was oh, a good right, right though. Him. That one landed, but he ate it. Big chin from Abel. The ass eaters. Oh, oh big right. Whoa. That one hurt him. That did. But he's smart. He's, he's tying him up. Every time. Oh, another big oh right. My God. Oh, my God. This is all guts right now from Waka oh, Marker. Yeah. And the Waka. Abel special. Oh, Waka. standing over him. No, no booze from the crowd in this fight. Yeah. By the way, I don't care what you say about our boy here, yeah. Spencer Abel. He just ate four big shots. It didn't go anywhere. And I love the Abel special. It's death taxes and an Abel going through have, the, the have, ropes. Do we have to replay that? Because he ate some pretty good shots. He really did. That right went. The, the, right the, across the, so the Abel brothers are known as not being knocked out? No. no. But this no. is by far the best they fight. Oh, I mean, that's... God. It, how, how do you take snakes. that shot? Look at Robbie Fox's... Look at his reaction. How there. do you take that shot? And I think he took, like, two more, too. Jersey Jerry's into it. Hey, the car wreck couldn't that put him out, and neither they can those punches. Listen, we make fun... Not fun. We poke fun at the Abel's. You have to have a chin made of fucking stone and, to eat that punch. And yeah. they asked to go up in a steel. class, and, and he's standing. Sir, and he's got his wits. You can tell when somebody's out of his feet, he's not. That's, a, that's the best punch that's been hit all day. I still think I eat ass easily has this fight right now. Oh, definitely he's in control. Oh, yeah. But that was the best punch that's been thrown all day, and he ate it. Oh, good that round with another good punch. That knocks out both. Yeah, I think Abel knows he's got to stay close. And I think he's also going to try to return a favor and put him through the ropes. They this love the ropes. This is the right technique, oh, though. Wow. Yeah, they love the ropes, Dave. This is the right technique yeah. by Blanca Muerta because he's in with a guy with a lot of power and he knows it. But he needs a knockout here for, oh my God. I don't think he cares about knockout. No. I think he's survival. Survival. Yeah. Survival. Yep, here comes some rope work. Yep. And I eat, oh, here we go, boys. I eat ass. I eat ass is waving at us. <laughs> I, eat, I eat ass knows that he's in control. He wants to knock out. He was after Alex Cooper for a real long time. Didn't get very far. I'm surprised that oh, was good right. Out. Good left. I'm rooting for him to make it. He just ate two more punches. Ten seconds, back up. He's got to withstand his last second. Good. How about Abel still moving forward? Spencer. Abel's tough as shit, boy. Tough yeah, as shit. Tough yeah. as shit. Good fight. Great fight. Good fight and a great return to the ring for I Eat Ass. Does I Eat Ass get shiz at the Riz at again after that? Ooh. Ooh. I, you gotta respect Abel putting his hand up. I'm gonna tweet out uh, the Abel brother GoFundMe after yeah. that one. There you go. Definite easy decision there. But give Abel credit. He ate what I would say was the cleanest punch of the night and didn't fall down. That's a pretty that impressive good. win right there. Yeah. He's yeah. a good fighter. I like Look that, that shirt. Oh, anal. A, a nice little anal shirt there. Oh, yeah. That's obviously tribute to Aida's. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm worried about my call about the next one, the Abel brother getting knocked out. I don't think you can knock out an Abel. No, it's very hard to do. So and they'll play in the ropes. So the next fight, Daniel Diamond hands Amesbury part of Ice Wars. Uh, he's, I believe, undefeated in that. He is. And now he's fighting the other Abel brother. And he's calling out everyone. This is the 4-0 heavyweight champion of Ice Wars. Have you heard of Ice Wars before? So I've heard of Ice Wars. A good friend of mine, Terry Ryan, fought in Ice Wars. All right, we got a... Uh, Rone with Aidas. People keep trying to talk. To Guys, you I'm here with Aidas. What do you, what can you say about this Abel brother's chin that you were just wailing on? He's he's the man. He's the man. Uh, Abel's a father, and I respect him a lot. Wow. So this entire arena is chanting Aidas. What does it feel? Uh, it feels great, man. Coming off an L, came back, got the win. So. Doing good. So uh, last time you and I talked at a rough and rowdy, it was a little bit spicy. Now you and I are friends. What are you asking for for Christmas this year? Um, I'm asking. No, no, for a bunch of ass, dude. What else would you ask yep, for? Yup, yup. Let's get this guy some ass to eat. The ring girls are right over here. Maybe we can get him some ass because he seems hungry. All right, let, uh, let's grab the Abel. Let, let's get Abel too. Gotta get Abel. Who's got Spencer? All right, Spencer. Let's and guys, go. and guys, we have Spencer. What'd you see out there? Uh, that Casey's a tough fighter. He's quick. That's the big, that's having problem with. I just 
smells like weed in here. But uh, <laughs> I, uh, it, it took me a little to get it used to its speed. I came down to a new way class. Uh, it is what it is. But I'll be fighting the uh, Wheel and Tough Man, me and my brother. So if you want to see the Able Brothers, February 18th and 19th, ask him by the pay per view down in Wheeland. Is this ours? And I'd like to shout out my wife, too. It's not. She uh, has Ronnie. has been Ron, watching my kid while I get trained. He's promoting a competitive broadcast. Wait, are you, are you promoting a competitor right now? No, Jerry's the promoter. Oh, come on. What the hell? Why are you promoting a competitor? All the things we've been doing for you. No, 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 no. That, well, we came through the West Virginia top, man. That's what I gave him five grand. He gave you five grand. <laughs> they gave you five grand. He was going to take you on sandals. Dave can give me five more grand, dude. It's, it is what it is, dude. But I'd like to shout out the... Uh, Zach. Is this an ad? Is this going to be an ad? Give me the fucking mic. <laughs> oh. I'd like to shout out the Zach, the Assassin to the Able. Auto repair. Uh, go find me. Throw some money in there if you're trying to help the Able Brothers out. Put some money on their books. The Able Brothers are always able. They'll take care of business. Yeah. Tough chin. Here's the thing, dude. I don't decline any fights. I take on all comers. When you fight tough dudes, you'll take else now and then. But I don't know. I'll have to rewatch that fight back. But I did think Casey was outlanding me a hair. He caught me with like two decent shots. But you see the face still pretty. So I ain't worried about it. If the judges tell me I lose, I ain't worried about it. Dude. He'll be pretty forever, boys. Back right. to you. Here's Here we my go. boy, guys. Here's my boy. Oh, no. He's been fighting for a living since he was nine years old. Oh, man. I think this could... Are the Able Brothers twins, boys? No. Uh, they're, they're both 27, though. They might be. This, this, if you're looking strictly at entrance, body... Oh, no. Guys, this guy is a fucking nail right yeah, here. He, yeah, he's but you never house. know what an Able Brother Yeah, the Able Brothers sometimes <laughs> have a little tricks up their sleeves. Look, he's even getting cupping on his shoulder like oh, a real professional. Man. Able Brother will throw him out of the ring now. I'm nervous. No, I'm I, nervous. I, I think that here we go, boys. This is why I came tonight. I'm a little nervous as well because I love the Ables. But the Able... Oh, oh the Able God, Able right out. So Diamond Hands can take punches. Oh, here we go, so, boys. What'd I tell you? Yeah, but what I tell oh, you? Oh, oh, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? That's hockey and talk. That's Diamond Hands. That's hockey. That's ice war. He may, he may not get up. Guys, that was an absolute rocket to his chin. Oh, my God. I and told Abel this. still struggling. Hey, that, that is the next champion of Rough and Rowdy right there. Wow. <laughs> That is the next champion. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. That was. I called Abel that thing. Back up. That was a devastating. That was Watch insane. my interview. I told Devlin in the office Monday this is going to be ugly. Frank just passed me a note that said, "Call them the unable brothers." Oh no, Frank. guys, guys, what did I tell you? That's I gotta ice see, wars. I gotta see that again. That was insane. He's still a little glossy. The able, they're checking hey, him. Guys, I take back an able brother cannot be knocked out. Oh man, that I was one bad. of the most devastating Let, knockouts we've ever seen in the history it. of rough and rowdy. Let's see the replay, you guys. This guy can fight. He can fight. Bobby Let's Lang might replay. have a new contender on his hands. Yeah. This is the future champion of this event, he, right? It was fast. I didn't even really see it. It comes right about there. Oh. There it Jeez, is. Just turned turned right him sideways. sideways. Holy shit. Turned him sideways. The able is back up, though. Hey, if he can do it on skates, imagine what he'll do in this ring the next few years. I think we got to talk to both guys if we can with Caleb and Rome. Yeah. I mean, that was Ready right here coming up. the here. Ice Wars champion, maybe a double belt, maybe a, a R and R champion in the future. I don't know if he's lost a fight in the last five years. Oh, yeah, I'm the champ now. So what's what's his background? Fighting. fighting. Just like hockey, like hockey fight. He played in the minors. He just fought. He's managed by AJ Galante from yeah, the Treasures. Yeah. Well, I, his dad, the guy the movie's on, I talked to him the other day. Yeah. Yes, sir. You just yes, saw that sir. movie. Yeah, yeah. Just came All out. All right. We got uh, Caleb with a real problem here. He's a real problem. But maybe the biggest problem was you you did that to an Abel brother. Can you feel good about doing that to an Abel brother? Yeah, you know what? These guys are great guys, but you know, when I come here, I gotta be serious. I ain't here to play games. This is boxing, this is fighting. This is rough and rowdy, baby. We're here to fucking take the belt. I'm coming back. People are talking about you as maybe a, a, a contender on a higher level, a Bobby Lang type guy. Yeah, bring them, man. I'll fight anybody. I don't give a fuck. Tell me who, whoever they are. I don't care. I'm the Ice Wars champ. 
we, I'm just here to show everybody that hockey fighters are fighters. We ain't just some figure skater bitches. We're fucking no. the real deal. It's still debatable. Let me talk to, good fight, I'm just kidding with you. Yeah. But the, what he said is debatable. Do you do you agree? Do you agree with the decision? I mean, I thought it was an early stoppage. We just got it started. I popped right. I mean, he hit me with a good. I popped right back up. But I like Dan. He's a nice kid. Him and his whole team are great. Like uh, nothing bad to say. I wish we could have went a little longer. Though I, we literally were just fucking getting. You guys were just I getting started. I literally popped up. Like I don't get why the fuck he waved it off. But. Whatever, dude. I mean, we'll be back next rough and rowdy. Dan's a good addition. I love that fucking kid. So, whatever, dude. This this shit was light, dude. I I wish we could have went a little. <laughs> what does tonight mean for the Able Brothers, both you guys? I mean, I don't know. Like, it's just another one in the books. We'll be back as always next event. But I I, I really thought that was an early stoppage. But good for Dan. I hope he goes for the belt next. That kid's actually really nice. Matthew, you guys, on probably an early stop. <laughs> he popped right yeah, back yeah, early. I, early. I'm going to absolutely need someone in our social media team right now to overlay <laughs> him trying to get up with it's an early stoppage. I popped right up. I popped right back. It was right. an early stoppage. It was. We lo we, uh, Go Whitney check out their GoFundMe, by the way. Yeah, give them some money. I tweeted it. Uh, Whitney left because we have our Susie the Honey Badger Antionin versus Sarah Sinister Fagora. So this is Vlog Squad. Yeah. So Susie is a huge huge vlog squad. She has uh, Jason Nash here behind it. Dobrik's been talking about her. So this is her fight. She was supposed to fight originally. Grace, that didn't happen. So uh, I don't know what this belt is for, but it's for something. It's the influencer championship, it says. Oh, I like that. Sarah walking in with the Canadian flag in here is a ballsy move, huh? Wait, that's not Sarah. That is Sarah. Oh, it is, because it says Faruger on her. Yeah. So they tricked us again. Yeah, they did. Because that's she's in the blue corner. All right, so I figured Susie would come in second. Here she is. So this is who was originally going to fight Correct. Grace. She's got 900,000 followers across all platforms. Lake David, uh, Lake Dave said she's been friends with David Dobrik for a while. Her birthday was on Thursday. She just turned 26, and she'll be fighting for the first time in her life. And she's been training hard for this. She has a big crew with her. Flew across the country, and, and there she, she was, is. She was chirping Sarah's sister at the weigh-ins last night. I don't know if you saw that, oh. but the families were getting into it. Okay. So this is one of those fights where you should be watching the ring, but also watch the crowd because the families might brawl. Okay, so looking at just the tail of the tape here, it would appear Sarah Sinister Figura has a decent amount. 5-5 five, five versus 5-1, so big reach. I haven't seen Jason Nash. Is he here? I don't know. Anyways, this is, the, this is the vlog squad fight. So shout out to all you tuned in to see Susie, the honey badger. And pop Sarah. Back up. Sarah's got 120,000 on YouTube. That's nothing. Uh, no, yeah, that's nothing yeah. to sneeze yeah, yeah, yeah. at. Hell yeah. Because YouTube ain't easy to get it. Here no, we go. it's not. They're coming right at each other. Sarah throwing. They are not fucking around. No. Both throwing big punches early. No, no damage, but Sinister seems to have the advantage right now. Takes control left, right against the ropes. But Sinister, Susie, she's found her reach. Yeah, Susie's the back in her up as she can. Both of them are swinging. You gotta wonder about the gas tanks in yep. a fight like this. Oh, she's snapping that head back. Four or five from Susie. Susie now in control. Honey Badger in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. You gotta wonder who's gonna run out of the gas. Oh. Little straight jab. Well, now Susie, mouth guard. Susie's not putting her hands up. She's just throwing them. Yes. Very good timing for that mouth guard to fall out. Got her an extra second or two. This is Sinister's round so far. Sinister looks great. She but, landed about every punch she throws. Yep. But oh, but here comes the honey badger towards the end of the round, and definitely some gas out. Susie's still throwing, they're both throwing. I would say, round one ends. I would say reach is a problem in this one. Yes. But I think you're gonna find gas tank yes, is a problem. Yes, that was a lot of punches by Sinister. We just saw Sarah's uh, corner in the crowd going crazy. We've seen in past female fights with Cherry Bomb and, and uh, Hot Wheels, they are dead by the end of it because yes. all they do is throw punches. Yeah. We've got multiple 
ringside members. I don't know if they're judges, commission members, this, refs. They look like Santa. Listen, if you get you, if you look at the card, you can tell it's a vlog squad. They got pictures, they got cameras, they're attractive, they're cool looking, and then you can tell our people. Like, yeah, see over there, that's that's vlog squad looking people. Yep. But they're actually rooting for Sinister. Yeah, those are Susie fans. Yeah. Or Sarah fans, Sarah excuse fans. me. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Her squad would be on the other side. All right, round two. I think round one, we have to go close to Sinister. In the black. Oh, that was awkward. Oh, big shot. Good shot. Sinister's coming out of the round throwing. Oh my God, she is just eating them. Susie's eating them. Eating them. But Milk still going, still fighting, still protecting herself. Hands still up, still wants action. But Sinister has her against the ropes is unloading. Little break in the action. Explosive start from Susie or Sinister. From Sarah, excuse me, Sinister. Oh, yeah. Oh. No, the, the, the corner just talked to Susie. And Susie looked over and got popped. Oh, biggest shot of the fight. That hurt her. That hurt her. Sarah, yeah. Sinister hurt her. It all started when she looked at the corner. Honey Badger's in a lot of trouble. You cannot on. look at the corner. Oh, oh back, back to front it. hand. <laughs> it's all Sinister. Corner. The corner is begging and pleading her to put her hands up. Makes sense, but she's still throwing punches. She's just not really hitting her because the reach. And if you're Susie, you have to be like, please don't distract me when I'm yeah, fighting. Don't talk to me while I'm trying to not get my ass kicked. All right, she round just looked three. at me. That eye contact was incredibly awkward. Yeah, you don't want eye contact with a, lo a fighter who's losing. What, what do we is, got there? What the fuck we is got, happening? I don't know. know. Guy, girl, I don't, I don't know, know what's what going on. What is happening? The that's, ninja. That's nightmare fuel. That's terrifying. I sure fucking hope that my nephew has gone to bed. Yeah. Oh, no. We Luke, don't want to raise please. a nephew in this because world who goes to bed before the oh, championship fight. Oh, my. What is fight. this? He Luke. can't be watching this. Before the championship fight, Robbie? Come on. What kind of nephew are we raising? He, he just can't is be Is this going to be the replay of her looking at the corner or just getting popped? Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. Just oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, the one thing... Oh, that was a good shot. Oh. The one thing that... The Honey Badger, Susie, has going for her. The punches, once she gets going, they don't maybe have a ton of force. Yeah. The beginning of the round has been a major problem. <laughs> That's a hard one thing. Like, the one thing is she's eating 100 punches, but, like, the last 90 don't hurt that bad. Susie, Susie's been pretty good. She comes out of these rounds at the beginning of each round with her hair on fire. And there's another one and a push and a face walk. And a backhand, a forward, and Susie's eating it again, but still throwing punches. Still putting up a very good fight. Yep. A little Sarah bit on the fight. Every oh, advantage. No. Every single advantage. She's faster. She throws oh, another punch. Oh, another better. big one. Her but I'll tell you what. At this Sorry. point, oh, big right again. For, oh, another one. She's loading up on these rights. Sinister's just loading up and connecting on these rights. Now it's a matter of survival for Susie. You put in all the work. It. You just want to finish it. Get to the bell. We call it a win for having the heart. Because it's all Susie. I mean, it's all Sinister Sarah. Susie just wants to get to the bell and prove something for some 10 seconds. She is showing a ton of courage because she's getting dominated, but still there, still throwing. Clearly, Sarah won easily, but Susie won courage for standing in there and taking those shots three rounds straight. That, that was, was a beating. Tough to watch towards the end. It looked like the watch subreddit talking about you. We, Man. God no. damn, Robbie. Robbie. Cross him off the Christmas Robbie. list. We're trying to move They don't know anything watches. about watches, Robbie. They That's don't. A fact. I agree. They don't. The watch geeks are wrong. Listen, I was going to say something nice before Robbie turned this into a mud fest. A lot of these fighters who are just fighting for the first time, training such as Susie, you prove it to yourself by going the distance here. She could have easily quit multiple times. She didn't, so hats off to her. But I'll tell you what, if that was Sarah Sinister Fagora's first fight, it didn't look it. No, no. we welcome her back in a heartbeat. Man. And that was also, I just want to say, unfair of whoever put that fight together to have it be Sarah and Susie to Dave's brain. And very, the red very blue unfair. Mixer. Very unfair at this point of the night. Yeah. And Susie, sinister Sarah. Sarah's, yeah, yeah. I, that wasn't fair.
The next fight of the night is an awesome one. It's an all-out banger. It's Michael Make It Happen Brown, one of the best fighters we've ever seen here, versus Brendan the American Ninja Kelly, a mainstay. At who, who, by the way, gets better every fight. Every yeah. fight. And we have, yeah, so these are the last four fights of the night. The main, main card. It's going to be incredible, all leading up to Grace O'Malley and then Pac-Man versus Bobby Lang, too. Caleb, try to get both of them. We'll start with Susie. We're going to start with Susie here. Susie, what happened? I don't know, man. I... You agree with the decision? No, I fucking... Not at all. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Was there any point? I don't want to talk about it. She's right next to me. <laughs> Listen, here, I'll, I'll, I'll shield you. I'll what? Talk about it later, whenever she's not is there anything you think you could? Is there anything you could have done differently? No, 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 no. I honestly like. I don't think anybody would ever go in the fucking ring. So, the fact that I literally went in there, half these people fucking wouldn't even have the balls to go in there. So. True. Well, you definitely showed a lot of heart tonight. What do you attribute that to? Literally everybody that's been by my side, literally helping me. So. That's it. You definitely showed a lot of heart. We're going to go to our winner. You did a great job. And that, that's what she said, showing the heart. I, I yeah. don't know how she said she didn't win. Now we're here with our winner. Jerry we're here with our winner. Asking for more. Sour. Now we're here with our winner. Do you agree with the decision? Sorry, pardon? Do you agree with the decision? Oh, I fucking beat her ass. Whoa. That's what happens when you talk too much shit. You get hit, bitch. Whoa. At what point did you know you were in control? First fucking five seconds. <laughs> Would you ever consider coming back and doing it to someone your size, someone as tall as you, someone with your reach? 100%. I'll start my membership at Rocky Brownie right now. All right, guys, we got we got some good girl fighters out here with a lot of heart. Yeah, she was great. I love you, Canada, and I love you, London, Ontario. This is for you. Did you give a shout out to Canada? Yeah, yeah London, Ontario. Love you, She's from there. Love yeah. All right. Oh, Canada. All right, let's let's roll the video for the next fight. Michael, make it happen, Brown. Make it happen is making it happen a little bit here, Dave. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm the best athlete to ever walk in the Rough and Rowdy ring. I might hit you so hard your mustache might fall off. Michael Brown, I hope you're ready, because if you're not, you're going to get your ass in bed. Everyone claims you're a ninja, then I'm an assassin. You want to fight the champ? Make it happen. Holy moly, look at this entrance. Whoa. Prison garb. I like it. Now, like Robbie, it. you say he's one of the best fighters we've had. I don't recall it. He, he's, he's very, very, very good. We've seen him a couple times. He defeated our champ, Hollywood Bailey, yep. at Rough and Rowdy 18, I believe, our middleweight champ at the last one. And we were stunned by him. Oh, wow, he came out in the... Yeah, he recently got out of uh, prison for manslaughter. Yeah. So... What? Yeah. He did, yeah. And we'll see if he's got the taste for it again tonight. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Very important fact. Very important fact. In the orange jumpsuit like Hannibal Lecter is about as intimidating as it gets. Well... Well, he's taking it off and he's got basketball shorts on yeah, underneath. No, it, I would have fought in the inmate suit. Yeah, very, very intimidating, though, when you're wearing them not for show, which apparently he's not. But again, the Ninja has had, I would say, maybe the most improvement of any fighter Agreed. we've had in Rough and Rowdy. Yeah, he's taking this very, very seriously. L like, he, he started as, I would say, more an entertainer, not as much a fighter. He has turned himself into a legitimate fighter. Yep. Yeah. And he's part of the, like, rough and rowdy core group. A lot of the guys, a lot of the former fighters, current fighters in his corner. Runs a CrossFit gym, holds many world records, most pull-ups over 24 hours, running the mile backwards. A lot of obscure, weird ones. But and he fights. That's him, yeah. And he, he fights. fights. And in every fight, he's gotten better. And he actually dominated the last fight that he was he in. He did five knockdowns, and our sheets is he actually retired Wade Woodruff. Yeah, Interesting. 99. This would be a great fight. Make it happen, Brown versus Brendan the Ninja Kelly. Here Let's we go. Let's see what we got. And like I said, they both fight. Look at this. Look at the action. Neither of them tend to hold. And on the attack right now, these punches are coming in at a thousand miles an hour. Every one of them. The ref almost got hit with one. Yeah, I mean, the ninja is high velocity. Big oh, punches from the ninja there. Oh, oh and a takedown. Take I think that's going to be a, not a knockdown. Right? No, 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 that's a takedown. 
Jeff Odo back up, up, ready to go. Good shot there from the ninja. Yeah, the Mike Brown on the tonight. attack. This is moving fast. Yeah, they're both very quick. This is one of those fights you almost right off the bat, like which is like six rounds. Yeah. yeah. But one big shot can turn this whole fight. And good oh, shot there big from the shot ninja. From both. Didn't hurt Mike though. Interesting, the ninja's on his bike. Good first round. I don't know who you give it to. I am no probably idea. the ninja. I think the ninja probably landed better. Yeah, oh. he, he had a couple good ones that kind of hit him in the temple. I can't tell if, if Mike Brown hurt his right arm at all. Oh, I really? saw him shake it, and I saw him say something to his corner. I'll watch it. I can't tell. Wouldn't surprise me if he's throwing that arm out with how he's throwing punches. It's crazy. I think he's okay. It looks like they're not looking at it or, or touching it. Oh, Spider, get this girl's shoes. It's like Wizard of Oz. The, the ruby slippers. I like that. You did a shout out, Luke. Oh. I knew you're doing that. For, there you go, Luke. Here's a replay. Side of the head, back of the head. Nothing really landed. That arm was a little. That's just a tackle. That was a full on takedown, double leg. I think he's okay, Dave. He is spending a lot of time in the corner right now. All right, he's up. Yeah, maybe. I thought I saw him shake it and kind of look at it, but like you said, he's breathing deep, doesn't seem to be favoring. We'll see. It was the right hand if it right. we'll know in a second, I guess. Swinging both of them. Good break, good clean break. I feel like the first person who lands a punch. They are throwing haymakers, really but are. nothing is landing yet. Ninja's really good at just moving constantly. Very quick. Good fame. Good shot right there, I think, from Mike Brown. They're almost moving so quick, you can't tell what's landing. Well, it looks like Ninja went for a takedown there. Thought about it, at least. Very even round. No real damage or punch, at least that I've seen. Metallica or something going on back there. They get the Metallica Kid Rock match. A lot of grabbing. Tough to really figure out who's got the advantage here. Good body shot yeah. from the Ninja. Yep. Ninja's back is very red. I'd say whoever wins the third round yep. wins the fight. Agreed. Yeah, it could be, yeah. Thanks to our sponsors, Dude Wipes, Whistle Pick Whiskey, and 3 chi Again, 3 chi third round coming up right here. If you use the promo code RELAX30 at 3 chicom uh, until midnight Eastern Standard Time, you'll get 30% off. Dan, right under, you're under boob. Under boob, under boob. She's back. That's my number one. Please make sure it stays in. Some of us have nephews watching. There it is. Good shot, Spider. Way to go, Spider. Spider's gonna get right up in there. He always has. Oh, he gets up in that shit. Always has, always will. That itsy bitsy spider will crawl right on up. All right, round three. Up for grabs. Once again, these corners are getting as wet as you could imagine. Mm -hmm. Again, they're using a wet towel. They're using a wet towel. They're using a wet towel. We, we yeah. had to do like the middle school janitor method and just yeah. put some sawdust on it. Seriously. Fighting some sand. Yeah, they are. It, it, it's just a wet towel. <laughs> I, I, it, <laughs> From the beginning of the night, it just, it's just not dry. A dry towel would certainly change the game here. <laughs> the round starts while we're still wet in the ring. They are just... Like throwing punches, herky jerky is tough to see what's landing. That's a good way to describe it. Herky jerky. They're both herky jerky. You, but you also get the feeling if one lands, it's, it's the end of the fight. Just got sprayed. The go, go, go from the side. There's a good nice shot. One. Both of them though landed. This is an absolute point flip. I don't know how you judge it. You can't. You may just say that, unjudgeable. Unless somebody does something big here, and they're both like active. Like I don't think one guy's tying up the other guy more than the other. They're just both hurt. Oh, oh good shot! Nice that, that's Those the best shot of the punch. Big two shots. And that could be the difference. To be totally honest. I think that did stun him a little. Ten seconds. That was a good shot. Oh, that, that was, was a good, good one shot. Too, yeah. 
That's a tough, tough fight to Impossible. judge. Impossible. I, I give it, I think, maybe the Mike will make it happen. Brown just on the know. virtue of the yeah. last 20 seconds. Yeah. I don't know how else. I, I don't know who that goes to. Impossible. Me neither. The only really good punches I saw were there. They got it right away. Yeah. I, I don't think you can argue. It, regardless of one, you could argue for them. That's how I would have had it. Yeah. I the American think Ninja's right. pissed. That last 20 seconds was, was really it. Yeah, that, that was the only real clean shots I saw. It was it could have gone either 50, way, 50. but yeah. The ninja's asking. It was impossible to score. Ninja asks, he's like, was that right? It was impossible to score. It really was a 50-50 That's who I would have given to based yeah. on those two punches. Yep. yep. If, if Ninja landed those two punches, I would have given it to him. That was a intense, fast fight. That, that's the type of fight if you go longer, somebody's going to connect and change the whole yep. trajectory of the yep. fight. Yep. I like these titles we got, too. I just realized the titles are red and green for season beatings. Ooh, I like that, too. Oh, look at this. We got this fan, this Yankee fan. He's oh, happy hell yeah. judge got signed. Hell yeah. Oh, he's getting booed here in Providence. <laughs> that's my guy. Red Sox country. He is. That's a hell of a looking Yankee fan. All right. Uh, Roan with the ninja. I'm here with our ninja warrior. Do Bonds have more fun? Uh, I mean, I always have fun. I come out here and always put a show on and stuff. I kind of feel like I got robbed out of this one. I don't really feel like I got hit much. He's just a little bit bigger than me and trying to bully me. And, but I was just quicker than him. I was hitting him with some solid body just shots. Last time. Uh, I'm actually pretty surprised. I, thought, I, didn't even, I didn't think it was going to be that close. But I'm the best athlete that's ever walked in this variety ring. That includes Pac-Man Jones. I want a real shot at somebody. Uh, well, athleticism aside, how would you characterize your fighting style? Uh, just athletic. So, I mean, I'm I, just getting better at it now. I'm just finally starting to practice boxing and stuff. I was busy breaking world records and saving my ninja gym these last three years. And then, that's why I like that every three months I get a fight, because then that's basically like growing about a year to amount of what other people do in three months. He cares about his ninja gym. He cares about rough and rowdy, and goddamn, he'll be back. That's the Ninja Warrior, guys. All right, thanks, Rome. We know he'll be back. Up next, we've got our Whistle Pig matchup of the night between Trapzilla and the American Redneck, who really stunned us at the last rough and rowdy. He did. Let's play the video. All right. Yeah, apparently, it's not the Whistle Pig matchup of the night. Just another thing our sheet says that is incorrect. Well, I'm told we got a video. We got a video. Trapzilla is coming to give Providence a show. He looks crazy, and I'm a little scared. I'm bigger, stronger, faster. This is the American redneck. He's a big guy. Oh, well, muscle don't mean shit in that ring. I'm guaranteeing a knockout. Oh, God, got it. Down he goes. That's it. Trapzilla is a scary, scary Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beast. He's the one that wanted this fight. He got it. Oh, he gets nailed right there. See what you got. He will not be leaving with that belt. Let's go. Super heavyweight, don't blink. You might miss a knockout. So I, I, if pound for pound, Trapzilla's maybe the most intimidating yep. fighter in the history of yep. r and &R. Now, he fought. He, he fought Bobby Lang and lost at Rough and Rowdy 14, but then he KO'd Huckamania at Rough and Rowdy 18. He's he got all, some of the most vicious knockouts ever, and he's sober now. That's a big part yeah. of the game. And he also, I like this note, uh, one of the nicest, most thankful fighters to our staff. That's, I mean, that's just kind of a cool thing. Like, our, our behind-the-scenes staffs work really, really hard on these, so it's cool that some of these guys are uh, appreciative. What what a look these two are, huh? Trapzilla yeah. versus the Huntsman. Oh, man. So the redneck. American Redneck, he's our super heavyweight champion. He knocked out or defeated Country Hoodlum. Didn't In a very out. close fight. Very close he's, fight. It's 5-0 oh before only, that. He's man. only 23? Yeah. No, that's going to be a miss. That's not right. this, this guy's 23 no looking way. on three. We have water. Like, again. again, they keep just giving them water inside the ring, not having them stand over outside the ring. Refs giving them a talking to quite a matchup. Like if you have this, like that, if if you just showed me that, that That's not eye to eye, though. that no to nose, I'm buying Rough and Rowdy. I'm like, I yes. gotta see these yeah. two guys yes. fight. That's that like is, an old school WrestleMania yeah. matchup. I love his trunks, Trapzilla. 
little, what do they call that when they do that? Air right, yeah, yeah. Air and like Rodeo's uh, on Daytona Beach. Oh, big shot from Trapzilla. Thick boy right off the bat. But we know, oh, they both are throwing bombs. We know Hudson can take a punch, too. Yep. And he's going to have to. Little dancey do. I can tell you something. I think Hudson is in good shape. Yeah. He's, he's, I don't think he can be hurt. He's so big. He's got a Roy Nelson thing he's, to him. He's country strong. And I think he maybe stunned Trapzilla because tra Oh! Oh! oh. What was that? A back fist that put him down? No, no, it's the slip. slip. He slipped on the oh, mat. Yeah, on the yeah, Amazon. And I'll tell you what, I think Trapzilla was in big trouble. He was. This, this corner, it's just our corner that people yeah. are slipping on. That may have saved Trapzilla. I think Trapzilla was in major trouble. You can almost see the respect that these yeah, guys have. Trapzilla has major respect for the Huntsman. And the Huntsman, well, the, the ref just screwed up how much time was in the round. Yeah, I, I think the Huntsman could get punched a hundred times and wouldn't play. No, the Huntsman's a monster, and by the way, he doesn't look like he wants any business of the school. Very intimidating. Huge power move. The Huntsman, so the Huntsman's a major problem. Like I, I don't like if the Huntsman said he wanted Bobby Lang. What, is that a fight? He's so much bigger. He's big. Yeah. Bobby Lang is fighting at 175 tonight. The Huntsman so, is 248. So yeah. then is Bobby not Bobby, the heavyweight champ? Bobby, we have a heavyweight and a super heavyweight. Right. And Bobby's also lost a lot of weight. But, yeah. but like Bobby dropped down for this fight for tonight. Black, but if the super heavyweight. A, heavy, a super heavyweight can fight in heavyweight. No, 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 no. A heavyweight can fight in super heavyweight. Right, you go up, you can't go super heavyweight, can't be a heavyweight. No, no if he loses weight. Limits. But, right, if he loses weight, he can. He would have I to make his thought, heavyweight limit. So, for us or for the world? For us, uh, there's, we're, we're commissioned. So yeah, but, commission. like, you're telling me... Uh, Fury is not a super heavyweight, of course. He has to be. And he's a heavyweight champ. Well, we go under different weight classes here at Rough and Rowdy Day. Okay, that's what I'm asking. Yeah. I'm asking like real boxing. Oh, good shot from Trapzilla. But I don't know that he can hurt the Huntsman. And I think the Huntsman can hurt Trapzilla. Oh, yeah. Jerry Fragrance is rooting for his friend, Trapzilla. I didn't know they're friends. Yeah, yeah. sober. Oh, good shot. Very good fight, Trapzilla's all game. Trapzilla's back in this round after that push. Is that a knockdown or a no, that was a push? That was all in a knockdown. Trapzilla's saying no. That was, that, that was definitely a push. You can tell by his reaction. Also, the ref in this fight in the end of the first round, by the way, he, he got confused. Yeah. Oh, oh, that that was a Kind of snapped ahead. 10 seconds. Oh, those are such big shots they are. from the Huntsman. Mutual Touch respect. Gloves. Yeah. Is the Huntsman going to take the stool this round? He is. That what do you smart. have this? Uh, I Huntsman 2 well. Huntsman. Trapzilla had a little something there. He got pushed. Like, yeah. I really think. I don't understand this. Me neither. I really think if we look back at that first round when the Huntsman slipped, that was the biggest moment of the fight yep. because I think yep. Rapzil was slightly stunned. Yep. By the way, next up, Grace the Mick O'Malley. Yes. I see people holding M O'Malley face signs in the crowd. She's going to be a big crowd favorite. Huge. With everyone except Ben Mintz, apparently. I didn't know Ben Mintz was, was in uh, uh, Parker Guolante's corner. Yeah, they call her the Cajun Punisher. Yeah. And I guess Mintz Man can relate. Managed by Ben The Cajun Mintz. Destroyer. Ryan Whitney, when he walked in today, uh, he saw Mintz. He goes, what's wrong with Mintz's eyes? <laughs> well, uh, they're always like that. Third round. I would say if someone won this definitively, Trapzilla could still win the fight if, yes. he, if he won this round big. Good nice shot start. there. I don't know that he can hurt the Huntsman. He's just a monster. Oh, oh that was a good shot. But he answered. Oh! oh! By the way, that's Oh, my it. God. Did you see? Yes. And, 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 uh, Trapzilla is saying, yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty Did you good. see how quick the Huntsman was? Yes. He, he landed three shots on, on the, the way, way down, down the legally. Way down. And he had just gotten hit, and it didn't phase him. And he by the way, Trapzilla woke up and said, that was pretty fucking good. Yeah. yeah. And Trapzilla, credit to him, coming right back. I wasn't sure if he was out on his feet for a second, but no. But that is, that I think may be the decision for the Huntsman. Trapzilla's still coming. 
Oh, good shot. Again, slightly confused by that 10 second thing. Oh, Blacker, yeah. Huntsman's bleeding a little. He's got nose. Good fight. Wow. Good I fight think, goes to the Huntsman. The Huntsman feels like a young Travis Terman. Yeah, yeah, he's just, although his face is a bloody yeah, mess. Yeah, no, he is. He's, he got messed up in By his the way, face. not just a humongous guy. That took some pretty good skill and hands yeah. to hit him three no, he's times. A good, he's a good fighter. Yeah. Like, we gotta see I'd that love again. to see that replay, yeah, because yeah. like Dave said, he hit him multiple times on the way down. He's a big old boy. He's got a great look. It's a big country Roy Nelson look. Big time. We go see that replay of the knockdown. That was impressive. Like clean. Here it is. All right, so there's the clean shot. And then on the way down, oh, again. Oh, yeah. He got him three times. Very impressive. Love the patty the batty in the background till tomorrow. People watching those, I don't even know how they're watching it. It's oh, on the Jumbo Jumbotron. Tron. got a huge Jumbo yeah. Tron, Dave. I this love his reaction. That's a big time. I yeah, love Trapzilla's like, reaction. Like, that was pretty fucking that good. That was good. You mentioned Patty. I do think we're getting a big submission win tomorrow. I okay. hope. All I mean, right. I think Patty's choking Jared Gordon's ass Let's out. hope so. We got Roan with uh, the Huntsman. The Huntsman. Your body's not good, but your fighting style is incredible. <laughs> how you doing with the barber says? What's he say? Who's next? <laughs> All right. Hey, how you cutting them up next then? Wh who do you want? And why is there so much blood pouring out of your nose? That man got me. I'll give him that. <laughs> He's a tough guy, but you're even tougher. What does your fighting style say about Rough and Rowdy as a whole? I'll get in the ring. I don't give a fuck. Hit whoever you want in there. I'll fight him. Dude, there are bubbles of bloody snot coming out of this man's nose. There's basically no one tougher than you in here. What did you see against Trapzilla, who's one of the strongest competitors we've ever had? I thought he was going to rush me. He didn't. He was scared. But I got that reach. You can't, you can't get on the inside of me. Good luck. Well, hey, you've earned your spot at a, a, a nice next competitor. Anyone you got your eyes on? Nope. I don't give a shit who it is. Yeah, Put he's just there, a tough guy. Him. Yeah. That's some country shit. Yeah, no, he, he, boys. He, he's, he's one of the best we got right now. Pure country. All right, let's go to the Dude Wipes Wipeouts of the Night. We've had a lot tonight. Yeah, here we go. The double feature Wipeout of the Night. With the, with the corner, too. I was going to say. Oh, this and we're fight. looking at him. Yeah, and he uh, the double Wipeout. Clear a couple of them. Double again. Nice takedown there. Obviously, oh. that one. Uh, yeah, that was just where it changed it, yeah. Yep. By the way, stay tuned. Up next, Grace the Mick O'Malley of Bristol Zone fighting now. Let's, Let's show go. the intro video. In Boston, we fight with heart. We fight with soul. We fight like our fucking life depends on it. My name is Parker Bultman, AKA the Cajun Punisher. Hey, Parker, you might have graduated from college, but I got street smarts, buddy. I got Boston fucking street smarts. See you in the ring, Grace. She fights, she wrestles alligators. Buddy, I don't like that face. Uh, yeah. six, she's eight five. years old. I don't like that face. And there's Mincy walking around. Wow, what a turncoat. Throwing, throwing up. I don't know what Mincy's doing. Some New Orleans well, beads well, at us. Mincy, those, Mincy. Mincy's throwing for Grace. Throwing beads, throwing his career at us. Yeah, we're rooting for Out the window. Grace. I don't know what he's doing. Sometimes Mincy's brain just doesn't work. <laughs> I get it. She has no one here. She's in Louisiana, but like, Grace O'Malley's a colleague of ours. Yeah. And I by the way, and very well liked. Very time, well please liked. Please welcome to the ring. And there she comes. Barstool celebrity. In from Rock Kirk Lane, against Massachusetts. Alex Massey, right? Well, Grace Kirk's a hateable guy Bob by a lot of people. Fair enough. Like, you wouldn't expect Come Mincy to down, play the heel. Grace. No. Grace O'Malley. Listen to this crowd for Grace. The whole arena on their feet. Grace is a, a hometown hero here. And here they come, the bagpipes. I love it. Oh, hell yes. For the Mick. Are the bagpipes working? I, I think can't they hear are. Them. Oh, yeah, I'm starting to hear them as they're walking closer to us. Okay, okay they, 
Oh, there they are. There we go. There they are. I think they came late. This is electric. Yeah, by the way, bagpipes always play. Always. Yeah. The Mickle Mally. Oh, you said she, her opponent had a possessed look. That's a possessed look, Dave. Crowd loves her. By the way, this is what Rough and Rowdy makes. Where else can you get this experience? Crowd going absolutely bananas as she comes to the ring. She's got our gym behind her. This is like she's Mickey Ward. Yep. And here she is. And there the she gym. is. Let's go, Mick O'Malley. The Mick O'Malley. She's got the pirate on the Good back of the robe. I love that. The pirate dog. Yep. Pirate water. Yep. Fighting out of Mendez Boxing, who's had a Mendes. lot of success. A lot of winners. One of the best trainers we've had. Andy Ruiz trains at Mendez Boxing from time to time. They look about the same build, same size. Here we go. She's got her whole crowd behind it. Those trunks. Fire. Unbelievable. Fire. Wow. Crowd's going bananas. Come on, Grace. I'm nervous. I'm always nervous for these. Always get nervous for Barstool employees. Super nervous. The ref. Let's see if we can see anything in the stare down. They almost look like carbon copies of each other's size. Grace O'Malley may have the best outfit ever. Gold ever. Club. She's like half Notre Dame, half Mick, half everything. Crowd chanting. And here we go. Her crowd's going bananas. I think I just saw Tico Texas. Oh, O'Malley comes out with a big shot to start the fight, but the Cajun comes right back. Little bit of pushing. Uh, arm bar, hard to tell. Good shot from O'Malley. Here we go. Oh. Headlock, oh. headlock. <laughs> that was a little big punch. That can't be oh. legal oh. for oh. no oh. She <laughs> headlocked and then threw punches and anything goes. And that should be advice. Oh, she's got the throw, chin lock. Throw, throw. <laughs> The mother, I think, is behind, stays straight. Good Ooh. shot, even right now. Tough to tell. Uh, O'Malley, I think, got the right edge. That little Trump noogie really did some damage. Oh, oh scowl. That scowl. Scowl. Big scowl. Body shots. Tight round. Crowd is going bananas. Shipping off the Boston, maybe, in the background. I think so, and the scowl again from Mick O'Malley. Put that on a poster. Wow. End the round one. That's Grace round. That's Grace, Grace round. I don't even want to make eye contact or take no, out no, of her no. and, and, and She's I got war in her eyes. I got to give Grace credit. She got her high, she got her low, she went a little noogie, she went a little chokehold. All angles. I have never seen the jump noogie choke, and there's Batman Mintz with the Cajun. What a piece of shit. What a cross-eyed fuck. He gets his contract, and he starts rooting for the enemy. She may be a nice girl, but what are you doing, Mintz? <laughs> that guy can't stay out of his own way. He really can't. <laughs> what would be like, I'm going to root against Unless he says it's his sister or something. Right. Tico, Texas. Oh, uh, she only roots for winners. With the lucky taco hat. Yeah. O'Malley, did she take her mouth guard off in between? I hope she can. I just saw the end of it. I hope she's not gassed. Because the Cajun looks like fine. The Cajun looks like she's just upset about being in this fight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Trying to go whoa. before the beginning. Love that. Love that. Put Mulligan here. All right, now we go. Crowd is out of. Oh, good shoulder. shot from O'Malley. Yeah, good left. A lot of pushing and shoving right now. Scowling. Good shot. There's a good shot from O'Malley. Another little left, little left, right. Push shot. O'Malley's definitely more active. I think if she just moved her hand, she would have fallen. Oh, O'Malley's talking all sorts of shit and comes at her with a bull charge. Good right, good right. Body shots, headlock. She headlock. likes the headlock nookie. That's on O'Malley special. The scowl comes at her. Ate a couple punches there. The that scowl misses. Is terrifying. 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 I think they're both getting a little gas, a little push shove. Still, O'Malley's more active. O'Malley definitely tired though. Oh, there she comes in. Good. Well, it's a shot. I don't know why. I gotta be unbiased. It's a shot. That's right. not done. They, they think it's. They think. 
All right. Oh, good left, good right. Push, shove. They're both tired. 2 0 O'Malley. 2 0. 2 0 is and right. Grace is just looking at there. her with, that, with those devil eyes. She's looking at her like she said, You're just Brianna Chicken Fry sidekick. And we got Grace. Bree up on the rope, Grace. yelling at her. Grace's mom is in my lap. Yep, I saw that. Yelling. She's Everyone's yelling. One more round. Mendez Jim pours some water down her crotch. Very veteran move. This is it, third round. Champions are born, and we got the underboot. Listen, Parker, the Cajun Punisher, credit, she's walking into a hostile environment. Oh, yeah. We obviously don't know her, and we know Grace. She's putting up a fight. Both of them tired. Third round. It would take, I would say, basically a knockout from the Punisher to win this. Also, Parker is suffering from uh, the hair getting messed up, which always matters for the judges in Rucker Rowdy. Grace is composed, scowl, Parker got a little bit of the frizz going now. I'll tell you what, Parker looks super composed. Yeah. Crowd on their feet, third round. Grace loves charging, you could have had a headbutt there. They're both swinging out of the gate. And the jumping punches, I love. Yep, and, and Grace ends up just being more active, like yep. right there, like four, five, six. Now there's a couple rabbits the other way. It, Oh, oh, good shot from Grace. Maybe the best shot in the fight. Parker still coming forward, though. Give her credit. She pushing her. Both tired. This is where O'Malley charges. Blocked. Good shot there. O'Malley's oh, trying yeah. to finish the deal. Good uppercut. Good, uppercut. good <laughs> boxing there from O'Malley. The mid saw an opening. They're both tired. They're going at two miles but an hour. It, it, right now, it's... 3-0 O'Malley. Definitely. And, oh, good oh, move. Yes, Sara looking. You take a break, the O'Malley charges you. She does not. I promise O'Malley if she won, I'd follow her back on TikTok. She earned the follow back. Wow, what a fight. Grace, incredible performance. She deserved that. She just went after it all three rounds. Took no time off. And give, again, Super hostile environment for Parker, the Cajun Punisher. People chant O'Malley, definitely the winner, but nothing to be embarrassed by. It's very tough when you're in a tough environment. Got the whole crowd going here, Bree. Josh Richards going wild. The scowl still there. And there it is, O'Malley. Parker, scowl gracious in defeat. Smile. That's the first smile of the night, and she's earned yeah. it. And I've never seen her not smile. Right. And now they hug. I had that feeling O'Malley's too nice. Good sportsmanship. Both seem like nice people. Great fight for O'Malley. The champ. And here Great comes moment. the whole entourage. And don't forget Bobby Lang, Pac-Man Jones. Championship fight still to come. What a night. Look at this posse. Tico, Tico. Texas with her mom. Does her mom, too. I love it. Winners. Tico wins, wins, wins. The whole crew coming into the ring. I love it. What a moment for her. I mean, there's nothing better. Like, they're in this suite down here. Parker yeah. hugs Caleb with Parker, who is courageous. The thrill and the agony. Caleb. Mincy, I'm here with... Come, Mincy, why don't you step in for a moment? I'm here with your... Punisher. Gotta say, great effort. I thought it was an awesome fight. Well, well, Mincy, let's slow down for a moment. We're here with the loser. And, and you, and I you put up, my heart. And you put up a good fight. Thank you, thank you. And I think you've won a lot of people's hearts, including Mincy's. But Mincy, can we be honest? Why not back O'Malley in this fight? You gotta support Louisiana. I mean, she's up here against six, 7,000 people on her own. Take some gut shit. She took this fight on a week's notice. Came up here, fought hard, deserves support. That's all fair. And, and it's fair. Yeah. And you put on a good fight. And you put on a good fight. And, it's, and at points, it looked like you guys are fighting each other. Let's be honest. I understand. We look alike. But I think I'm more better looking. Oh, cheap <laughs> shot. Oh, yeah. okay. People are saying the booth is a cheap shot. What? It's okay. But listen. <laughs> Mass confusion. It's a great fight. Thank you. We're, we're not disappointed in you. We're disappointed in, in Mint. This is my favorite person in the world. We're here with the winner. I'm the winner. 
I'm delusional. And Caleb's hilarious. O'Malley. 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 It's like a what USA champion. It's amazing. It's support like this. Macy should be fired. But I won. That's huge. How does it feel? How does it feel? You're here. You won. You did your thing. No one believed you when you said you were sober. I still don't. I, I didn't even believe myself half the time, but I fucking did it, man. I'm coming back to life. I think I'm ready. What did you see in the ring? I did. What did you see in the ring, and how'd you do it? Because there's a lot of heart displayed by both of y'all. Oh, I, I, I know that whole fight was I was just gassed the whole time, and everyone was like, Jesus Christ, they're both so gassed. But I fucking won, so that's all I can really say, Caleb. But I gotta take it low. O'Malley, off. listen, whether you like it or not, you got a lot of fans here tonight, oh, all across the arena. Can you get a word to your fans? You got a lot of them. I love you guys. Oh, you can hear me? Jesus Christ, let's go, Providence! But, but Boston, you're my home. O'Malley, will we ever see you in the ring again? <laughs> Good for and that's her. smart, and that's smart. And we got next, we have Pac-Man Jones against Bobby Lane for our main event. All right, next up, wow. main event. What a moment for O'Malley, though. Like, that's rough and rowdy. There's, It's something about it. Like, you yes. get to be a professional fighter for a night. 7,500 yeah. people chanting your name. It's crazy. And you win a fight, you got a car crowd, you got an entourage. Happy for her. Said fire Mincy, we'll think about that. That was very funny. <laughs> but now it's on to the main event. Uh, Adam Pac Adam Pacman Jones trying to avenge the loss to Bobby Lights out Lang. Let's watch the preview video. Bobby! Yeah. Pacman Jones, yeah. Bobby Lang. Oh, this is rough and rowdy day! Pacman has 200 people here. Bobby That's Lang was yep. shocked by Pacman's speed. Oh, big right from Lang! That's Bobby Lang! Pac-Man Jones, I mean, he was a great football player. He wasn't just a football player. In our main event, the rematch of the century, Bobby Lang takes on Pac-Man Jones in Bobby Lang's backyard this time. I am the prize, you stupid fuck. You are nobody. Bobby Lang taking control. Oh, and there's a level. It's Bobby Lang. You're one of the toughest sons of bitches we've ever seen. I'm going to fucking knock you the fuck out. Watch out for my right fucking hand. This is our whistle pig matchup of the night. Pac-Man Jones making his way to the ring now. A much different environment than we had in West Virginia for this first fight. The whole crowd was singing, West yep. Virginia, take me home, the whole song. Here, he's the enemy. And, yep. and we'll see, because if you remember from the first one, I think Pac-Man was a little bit shocked with how rough and rowdy works. Bobby Lang is a veteran fighter. Has Pac-Man picked up some of the tricks of the trade and can he win, a, win this fight? Yeah, and especially here tonight, the refs are letting you be pretty rough. Yes. And something to watch. Adam Pac-Man Jones cut his right finger on a glass blunt tip last night. On a what? On a glass blunt tip. Interesting. We, we, as we wait for Pac-Man. I believe we've lost Pac-Man. Uh-oh. Do you think this is psyched out or he's just not in the building? He, I don't he know. He may be psyching everyone out. He may be in the back taking a shit. Where is Pac-Man Jones? Uh-oh. Where's Pac-Man? This might be a problem. This, this is also psych out 101, and they're going back to try to find him. But this is Psych Out 101 of boxing. They just keep doing the smoke. Maybe it's maybe a little more smoke. smoke. Yeah. Enough smoke and it'll appear. A little more smoke. Imagine if he just didn't show. I mean, I mean uh, we saw him. Right? He was here. Coming, no. I saw his agent. Oh, yeah, of course he was here. We interviewed him before the fight. Yeah. But all the cameras going in. I don't know what the hell oh, is Oh, here going. we go. Oh, no, that's Caleb. What the fuck is happening over here? Where the hell is he? Caleb's trying to find him. Oh no, those are the stormtroopers for Bobby. I'm lost. Bobby has stormtroopers? Bobby has stormtroopers. Bobby's got some stormtroopers. That's kind of anticlimactic. I know, we ruined that. 
Where is Pac-Man? Where are you, Pac-Man? Uh-oh. Crowd waiting in. Bathroom, anxiously. bathroom. Check the bathroom. There's no way Pac-Man left. Is there? I don't I don't see no. his agent anymore. We're going that into the bathroom. Nervous, Dave. You think he bolted? I saw his agent. I no longer see his agent. Where, where was he sitting? Right over there. Interesting. What are we figuring out? Does anybody have any eyes or anything on anybody? This is some all-time rough and rowdy drama. I can't tell if any... At this point, I feel like he might not be here. Is that, is that, is that, him? Is that him? Is that him? There's too much smoke, we can't see. That looks like Stormtrooper. No, that's him, that's, that's Pac Man, Joe. That's Pac Man, goes. we found him. So oh, he was psyching people we out. We found him, folks. He was icing the kicker the whole time. I don't hate that move. Wow. I don't hate that move. He looks very focused. He that, said you're on Pac Man time. That would be a wild thing if he just yeah. did, if he was here and then left. Yeah. That would, who did that? Somebody did that at an original rough and round. Yeah. That was a real great psych out, though. I was le legit nervous. Who was that who did that? They were the Scheme Brothers. Yeah, one of them just didn't show. Or the other one, the, who they were fighting didn't show. <laughs> All right, no, he's got his whole crew here. Oh, he's ready. He's ready and he's mad. Yes. Pac-Man Jones, did you bet him again, Dan? I did. How much? Two grand. Two grand, Pac-Man Jones. I think he said... Okay. He just told Dan he wants his money. We'll I think see. he might have called you a bitch, too. Listen, I, I got I to fight to Philly in five minutes, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get right I'll out get his money. I brought money for him. Do you guys believe our champ, Bobby Lang, 8-0, can finally put somebody's lights out tonight? I don't think he's a knockout Pac-Man. I think he could, Dave. Pac we'll see if lock, but it was all in the field. It wasn't in the ring. So I don't know what Pac-Man's been up to. Is he training? Is he ready to go? I don't know. I think he's just always in great shape. He's Let's always in great shape, shape but it was boxing shape. True. And you know that Bobby Lang is constantly training because he knows he's always going to fight. It's a full-time job. You hear the Imperial March right now. We spoiled it just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. The Pac-Man there bouncing off the ropes. Looks like he's comfortable. Yet Robbie big entourage here from Pac-Man. Robbie told me I didn't realize. Big entourage. Bobby Lang is a big Star Wars nerd. Huge. I didn't know that. I respect that. Huge Star well, Wars I, and Marvel guy. I assume that once I saw the Stormtroopers. Yep. He's looking to evoke that Darth Vader energy tonight. Hopefully that Darth Vader in Rogue One energy. Where he just mows down. Is this reverse now from Bobby Lang making Pac-Man wait in the ring a little bit? It may be a wait off. The Imperial March. Right, Let's get eyes down. on the entrance. Definitely. Stormtroopers, come on down. And here we go. It is time for the main event. We just need Bobby right down the Look at this. I don't think you can see in the Darth Vader hat, so he took it off. Here's Bobby Lang, the champ, 8-0, never lost, rough and rowdy, burst on the scene. What's he, Braintree, right? Yep. Yes, Toughest pride of Braintree. Toughest guy in New England slash Earth. He's beaten every single top fighter we've had, from Travis Terman to Wade Woodruff to Trapzilla to Dustin Bailey. And a lot of the fighters, even though we said he, he hasn't had the key knockout, big knockout, a lot of the fighters who fought him don't want to fight him. No. We have Big Booty Lang right. had no interest. Other guys are grabbing him. So I don't think Pac-Man will do that. So maybe we'll see some more action. No, I think Pac-Man wants this fight. He wants a knockout, and he wants a trilogy. He wants to even it up here and then have one more fight and win the trilogy. Is that sure going to get over the gloves? Yeah. Yes, it does. All right, boys, I'm fucking excited. Pac-Man Jones, Bobby Lang, two for the Rough and Rowdy Heavyweight Championship of the World. This is for all the marbles here. In Bobby Lang's backyard. It was even, you know, last time we went to West Virginia, kind of, kind of Pac-Man's backyard. Pac you know? backyard, definitely. And here we go. They're playing country roads. Big fight feel here. Very similar body types. Touch of the gloves Whoa. there. Pac-Man runs into his own corner there for a second. 
three rounds. This should be, again, I always say it, and never should be five to eight rounds because they're both that good. Yes. Let them feel it out, but it's three rounds. It is what it is. We'll see if Pac-Man is also more, we go. more used to the one-minute round. Oh, good, good shot right there. Looked like Pac-Man. Bobby Lang comes out swinging. See, Bobby doesn't get these fights. Guys who will fight him. Pac-Man's fighting. And Pac Bobby Lang though, on the attack. Both throwing haymakers. If one guy lands connectly, it could change it. Pac-Man throwing shots. Bobby with a big right. Clean punches from Bobby and good defense, too. Yeah, yep. he really Clean shots from Pac-Man. This is the best Bobby fight we've seen in a little bit because Pac-Man's fighting. Bobby good good shot control from Bobby. Bobby. One. Bobby has him in the corner. Pac Bobby's Man playing holds. like he's got something to prove here. A little bit of a headlock. He's not letting him go. You gotta let him go. letting him go. What is this? He's just not letting let him, him go. go. Yeah, and that's what happened with Bobby Lang. That's not Bobby Lang's fault. What was that? That waste time for Pac-Man. What was that move? I think that to me is like Pac-Man's like, I don't like what's he's, going he's on. He's frustrated. Yeah. 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 And, and I don't know what he's frustrated about because again, Bobby's trying out. to fight. Yeah, and he's doing it again. He's doing the same thing again. Uh-oh. That Pac pisses Man, Bobby off too. Yeah, I think Pac-Man might be fighting a little differently here, folks. Yeah, but he, he, that's fine to fight different, but yeah, but he's, you're not he's, gaining yeah, anything. Yeah, no, he's wasting time and trying to, like, wretch his neck and stuff. Bobby won that round. Clearly, Bobby. And, and Bobby's defense is so good. He moves so well, his hands yes. always stay up. And yes. look at him breathing deep in the corner, under control, relaxed. He doesn't get flustered by that. And I'll tell you what, even if you thought that was a close round, Pac-Man loses points with that. It's right. like it makes you think yes. it makes you think he doesn't want to fight. Right. Yeah. Because Bobby Lang's trying to fight this stuff. Like you can't blame that on Bobby. Bobby's backing up, not clinching, all the clinching and not letting go is Pac-Man. Which it is fighting different. Like we said, play by the but you're not gaining anything. No, you're not getting anything. I what? think he's. I think when I say he's fighting different, I think he's just fighting more frustrated. And, and he's yeah, he's just... coming out. The ref blocks him. Yeah, I think. I think that was a demoralizing round. Yeah. yeah. Round two, round one. Bobby Lang. We're getting a little of the Pac-Man experience that he's yeah. playing on the ropes. And I think he knows that Bobby can hurt him. To be honest. Yep. Good shot by Bobby. Body working the, the body. body and yeah. comes up top. I think Pac-Man knows, see, right there. And now Bobby ducks out of it that time and keeps fighting. Punished him for it. Oh, big right. That hurt Pac-Man. Oh! Pac-Man threw the ropes. Oh. Another one. Pac-Man's in big trouble. Bobby Lang teeing off on Pac-Man. To the body, and that's, he's going to try to hold him, I think. But Bobby's playing now. He's pushing him off. Bobby is manhandling Pac-Man. This is all Bobby. The ref gets in the middle. It, this is one of the best fights Bobby's had. By far. Absolutely. By far. He's pushing Pac-Man off and damaging him. Oh, oh, oh. Bobby Lang right now. Pac-Man's on his bike. Big shot. Pac-Man's hurt. Trying to duck. Pac-Man's taking a beating. The champ, the champ is wailing on him. This is all Bobby Lang. His best performance by far to date. His wow. best round maybe we've ever seen him as a champ. Landing punches, Pac-Man tries to hold him, shoves him off, hits him again. All oh, Bobby Lang. And by the way, when you say we want the Bobby Lang knockout, yeah. listen, he's, he's not trying. holding he's on. Trying he's trying very hard. That's all There's, Bobby Lang. There have been Bobby Lang fights where it's like he feels like he's trying to win on the scorecards. He's trying to knock him out. And, and if there was any doubt in the first fight, Kind of equal, kind of this. None no, here. No, this has been all no, Bobby. No. You wanted season beatings? Bobby Lang's giving it to you. Now, how is his breath? That was an active round. You look out in the corner, he's definitely breathing super heavy. Pac-Man was rocked there. And it'll be interesting to see what he has, if he can get his breath back. That is a factor. Bobby was breathing super heavy. Hopefully he didn't empty the tank there. Let's take another look at it. Not much on that replay. It didn't even look like he hit him on that one. He had him on skates. I mean, he was yeah. running around the ring. All right, final round. Both of them seem gas. Pac-Man's walking, trying to get his breath. He wants to I get into it. I don't know if they are, Dave. I, I think they got some, some stuff left in the tank here. Yeah, you think? I'd love to see a knockout. What a... Uh, mouth guard. Mouth guard. Crowd chanting Bobby. 
Pac-Man getting advice from his corner. What's going know. on here? I think they're just putting the mouth guard in. I don't know what they're doing. What's happening? Is, is he taking a point? One point. Is he taking a, for what? What's he taking a point I don't know for? what's happening. I don't know what it was for. Delay the game. Delay, oh, delay. delay the game. I don't, you don't see that. Oh, is. good shot that by Pac-Man. Yeah. I don't know what, though, and he's just holding him. That's embarrassing. Bobby Lang throws him off. That's embarrassing. I, I don't know what Pac-Man's complaining about. Yeah. He had him in a headlock. And he's like, he doesn't want to fight. He doesn't want to fight. Is that it for him? No. He doesn't want to fight. I don't know how I'm going to ask for like $2,000. That may be a tough ask. <laughs> What's he complaining about? In his corner, it's help Pac-Man relax and fight, but he don't want to fight. I think he knows he doesn't have anything for Bobby. No. Nope. And Bobby oh, with a good left. Bobby with good shots there. And then, see, the ref, if you don't want to let go, you're going to break it. Pac-Man just wants this to hit triple zero. Yep. Very badly. He almost walked into one there, Bobby Lang. Big Bobby shots. Lang still wants to knock him out. Bobby Lang still throwing punches. Pac-Man down. I don't know what Pac-Man is complaining about. He's doing all the grabbing. He's getting thrown around the ring. I tell you, Bobby's going to watch out with that duck. And that's it. Clear up Bobby Lang. That was the easiest Rio. victory. And I credit to Bobby Lang. He wanted to fight. He threw yeah. some great punches. Oh, Bobby. That was an amazing you know, fight. You him. know what we may have to see? Bobby Lang and the hockey guy. Oh, yeah. I think that's coming next Rough and Rowdy. That that would be a hell of a fight. Boys, do I even ask for the 2000? That's tough. You may get knocked out. I don't know. Well, I, I, I might just that. get clinched. Like, that's all he's doing tonight. That was easy. We got to get Bobby Lang an opponent. opponent. Easy Bobby Lang victory. Another I think, one. I think that was his best performance he's had. I agree. Very impressive. Pac-Man's looking for you. Pac-Man coming over. He dapped up. He's Dan. good for dapped it. He's good cat. for it. He's good for it. He was good for it last time. Yeah. He's a man of honor. He's gassed. Well, well, I was so give him a hug. He kind of pushed him off. That was Bobby Lang's best fight. All right, we got uh, Kale, uh, We got Roan with uh, Pac-Man. Guys, I'm here with Pac-Man Jones. An incredible fight right there. Very physical. What did you feel out there? I don't know what he was on. He was on something. There. What do you mean <laughs> on something? What kind of on are you talking about? It ain't water. It's not water. So he was on something different. He was on something strong. But the stormtroopers are out, and they're ear in force right now. Do you feel like that was the right decision that was made? Yeah. He beat me today. You said he beat you today. He said if there was a, a tie in this one, or maybe he would want to go to a third fight. Is there a third fight, or are you seeding your way to the Rough and Rowdy champion, Bobby Lang? Well, shout out, shout out to Bobby. I, a, I made a mistake on this one. Uh -huh. And I ain't gonna put my business out there, but he had a good fight tonight. He had an incredible fight. Pac-Man Jones took care of business, but the winner was Bobby Lang, and there he is with the Stormtroopers and Caleb Presley. All right, Caleb. Yep, guys. I'm here with the two-time Pac-Man Jones champ and the undisputed Rough and Rowdy champion! Oh, fuck your boy! All right, hold on, I got something to say. Are uh, you fucking people on Instagram talking shit? <laughs> Everyone doubted me, acting like I lost a step. Oh, Patrick, put in the NFL. Guess what? Take a giant step back and literally go, fuck your own face! Yeah. I'm the fucking champ! I ain't nothing to say. Frank Gore, what's good? You watching? One NFL player down. On right, to the next one, baby. Fucking DM me say you want to fight. Hope you fucking watch that. You ready for the fucking smoke? Let's fucking get it. Frank Gore would be a good fight. That wow. would be good. He's got big balls, literally. Yep. And they bounce, big cat. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Listen, our biggest problem right now in Rough and Rowdy, let's be honest, is finding someone to fight Bobby Lane. How do we find someone who Hockey can fight wars. Bobby Lang? Yep. Fucking back up that Brinks truck, baby. Hands. He's raising Get his hand, hand behind here. us right now. Big what? Right, right here. And fucking right here. here. Fucking bag. Right here. Get in there. Right here. Right here. Right here. 
We, all right, we might have it. Right, who? Wait, what are you saying? I'm here for Bobby. I'll fight Bobby. I'm always ready. What makes you qualified to fight Bobby Lang? <laughs> well, I'm 1 0, but Google me, bitch. <laughs> Bobby Lang, Bobby Lang. Come here, Bobby Lang. Is this guy with, the, with this mustache, I don't know how far it goes, is this someone you'd be interested in fighting? Hey, let me say something. I follow you on Instagram. You're a tough dude. I've watched a lot of your fights, but you gotta fucking earn it. You beat a fucking scrub tonight. Fucking win a couple more fights, then talk to me. We'll see ya. We'll see ya. They, they did a handshake, guys, but listen, we all know. It may be a fight we want to see. You don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a matchup. Core matchup, we'll see. see. But Bobby Lang, his best fight I've ever seen of him Lang tonight. Is undisputed rough and rowdy champion time and time again. Can we get one more time for Bobby Lang? Have a one more thing. Brace your Massachusetts. Makes the fucking noise for your boy, baby. Let's fucking go. Beat three, motherfucker. All right, that's rough and rowdy. Are we doing the ring girl now? What happens? Uh, I don't know. We're, we're Jerry's doing hosting the ring girl, so we're we're done here, right? Yes. Yeah. So that was a great night. Great, great night. night. That was great, a great, great night. Bobby Lang's best performance. Mick O'Malley on fire. The uh, Vicky D is a absolute problem for anybody who fights. The Abel brothers, one of them still on planet Mars. We got to put that clip together of him saying he got right back yep. up. All in all, great night, great crowd. Thank you, Providence. Electric environment, as always, when we're here. Um, and as always, it's fun. Thanks to everybody who bought it. Yes. Until the next one, boys, enjoy the uh, Ring Girl contest. Sound Lang still undefeated from Braintree, Massachusetts. He has a challenger right here in the ring. Michael, make it happen. Brown just told me he wants to challenge Bobby Lights Out Lang on the next event. All right, we're going to do the Ring Girl contest next, and that will conclude the show. So stand by for the Ring Girl contest. All right, ladies, pick a corner or a side. Let's pick a corner or a side. Come on, get over here. Come on over here. I, I don't know. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to introduce these lovely ladies one at a time by the numbers, I think. I can't hear. There you go. Kelly Saltis. Can the arena hear us, or is it just the, the uh, official live, uh, ring girl sound meter? And the lady who receives the okay, loudest only goes over applause the, uh, the from you will be All right, let, us, let us know when. We're live. We're live, Mark. All right, so we're live. We had the most electric rough and rowdy in the history of rough and rowdies. It took them 19 to get it right, but boy, did they get it fucking right. Yes, they it's did. me and Jerry Fragrance. It's me and Jersey Jerry. It's me and the legend Jerry sitting here about to judge the Ring Girl contest. I mean, do we got a piece of paper in front of us, or are we just... Absolutely no pieces okay, of paper. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna, they just, just want a little bit of commentary. Of no problem. And right just out of the bit, uh, right out of the gate, we got number one, right, let's hear from living Jessica. with tattoos. Thank you. Nice. Type Next of girl you just want to bend over, over and read the shit out of, right? Yeah. Just to see what all I'll tell you what, around. I like this one right here. Oh, oh my God. Oh. That's what I'm talking about, oh. Lord. This is something special. Yeah. Drop that fucking uh, right, split. A couple of school rings popped out. Yep. What else we got we up here, Jeff? Ring girl number four brings here we go. The table. Oh, here here we go. I mean, she's not revealing nothing, yes. <laughs> Wow, well, I don't know. There we go. <laughs> we changed it right Jerry there. West. It's all about perspective, Jerry. Yes, it is. Yeah, yes, the it elevator is. smells different when you're a midget. A little too long. <laughs> too long Who nice. else we got? Next up, your vote, please, for ring girl number five. All right, the black and white the yeah. shot coming around. All I don't know if the black and white was the right play here. Oh, yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> I'm probably throwing a pastel. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't disagree, my friend. I don't disagree. Yeah, I don't think she's getting my vote. <laughs> Next up, your vote, please, for Red Girl number six. six. Let's hear it. Red Girl Brooklyn. number six. I tell you what, I'm looking. Six. This has a little bit of Jordan Woodruff, Woodruff action she here. She does have a little bit of Jordan. Yeah, no, thank obviously you. a little bit further down the road. Yes. All right, yeah. Now we are looking for All Ring of them are just lovely competitors, seven. though. Yes. Oh, this girl here. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I heard yeah. something about her, Jerry. Oh, she yeah. refuses to eat alphabet soup because she chokes on the D. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Thank <laughs> God they can't hear me. What's going on? Ring Who's up next? Yeah, right this one I like. This That's one person. I like, Marge. 100%. 100%. I mean, she's, she's just as thick as a bowl of oatmeal. Yeah. I believe the I kids. Mean, but, but she's not working for it. <laughs> Thank you. She isn't. She's just going through the motions. And I think because I think it's this girl's fucking nine. contest to yeah. lose. Step right? I'll tell you what, Marge, if I didn't have a girlfriend, right. this, this is something special. Yeah, I believe the kids say that she's kicked up. Yep, That's she's what kicked they up. Say. Yes. That's the under room girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jerry, there's nobody I'd rather be doing this with than you right now. Oh, this is the best. Yeah, absolutely. This is the best. It's good that they got those hacks out of there, Dave, Dan, and Robbie, oh, and let the yeah. fucking pros come in. I mean, Dave is just <laughs> way past his prime now. Right. I think we should take this opportunity to remind everyone how much I love my wife. Yeah. All right? I, listen, yeah. I got a son. I love my girlfriend. <laughs> right, 100%. I really do. And the problem is she's listening right now. Yes, as I'm going to be in the doghouse. I'll tell you what. Where do you guys live? The winner by uh, North Jersey. Jersey. North Jersey. So do I. I'm not a meteorologist. I'm thinking North Jersey's going to get three or four inches tomorrow. Yes. You know what I'm saying, yes. bro? There we go. Ring girl number nine. Uh -oh. Stephanie Rowe, number nine. Stephanie, she just win. Congratulations. Whoa. Yeah, that's nice. Look at the feet, Mark. Yes. Look at the feet, too. Yeah, the bare feet girls have a little bit of um, it's like a Native American feel. Yeah. Oh, you know that's I mean? a nice shot right there. They use there. every part of the buffalo. Yeah, they do. Big birthmark on her. I like the fact that she didn't get that removed. The yep. run, runner up. Sort of looks like New Second Zealand. Second place, <laughs> ring girl right. number four, Jade Number four. Right, right out number there. Four. Oh, there place. she goes. That's Mrs. Claus. Yep, Mrs. Claus. They say Santa comes ring once girl, a year. I don't yep. believe it. You know, Lark, she got the white toes. That yeah. usually means pretty pussy energy. <laughs> this really? Yes, I it does. Know that. Yes, it does. Right. Are we going with the with the with the winner here? Yeah. They give away sixty nine hundred dollars. Sixty nine hundred dollars. Nice. Nice. We got Ring girl number the six, Brooklyn. Where are you? Ring girl number six. Ah, uh, you know, Large, I don't agree with this play here. I don't here. know about that. I think I think the three, the three should have won. You like the three card? The three, the three uh, worked hard. I can't, I can't I can't help but think that Mrs. is Claus and nine. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that pick. I thought they did enough. Yeah. Wait, are we done here? I think we might be done. Hold on a second. We got to say this. I'm not ready to sign off. Yeah, I mean, the crowd wants it. That's what I said. Right. Either that or they're holding I up the... I think we should do three. I think they're holding up the shocker, Jerry. That's not the three. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. I mean, she worked for it. Yeah. Ladies she and worked for it. All righty, so brought to you by 3 g Go to 3 gcom and order all their Delta 8, 9, and 9 0. Yep. Listen, thanks on behalf of Jerry watching. and on behalf of myself, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you were thoroughly entertained. And we'll yep. see you in a couple of weeks. Yeah, right? in a couple of weeks. Yep. You're the man, Jerry. It was a pleasure, by pleasure, the way. Pleasure, pleasure. Love you.